Let's put that ASMR. Yeah. As usual, we start with the ASMR. Don't know what they are. Oh, yeah. You want to see oh, yeah. my home screen? Ready, ready? Oh. Do you go first. It's so cute. Looks like Mitchie. Hmm. That's episode three. Mm. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. Is it three? Mm. Mm-hmm. That's what we did too. Oh, well, we're the first. Yeah, you move the cushion away. What do I lean on? Wait, we need to introduce our special guests. Oh, okay, okay. We, we need to introduce ourselves. ourselves. When do we ever do that? We start now. Yes, <laughs> episode now? three. <laughs> I'm Christine. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> you, were <gonna laughs> you, <laughs> you were gonna say something else. This is Lena speaking. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> this is this is Brianna present. <laughs> this is Emily. <laughs> Usually Judy's here too, but today she's a, she, she is, is in bed. Yeah. Mm. We're just talking. We're just eating. <laughs> So, what's the topic? No, how did you, how did you <laughs> uh, oh, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Start off. Um, okay, I'll start off. My day, very tiring. I woke up, very tired. I, I, I just rolled the heck out of my face mm. to deep, deep puff. Mm. And then... Are you <laughs> And then I went... <laughs> <laughs> That was a fake laugh. Okay. <laughs> <I didn't know. laughs> and then I went to work. And then the whole entire time I was at work, I was just studying. Mm. So I was very tired. I got a yerba. I was still very tired. Wait, you broke your no yerba streak. <gasps> that was last week. Oh. The week is over for last week. Oh, oh. Tuesday. Yeah. Oh. Um, and then what else? Oh, and then so, yeah, after work, I studied some more in the lib, mm. and then went to take my midterm. It was very difficult. Mm. Not very difficult. It was quite difficult. I haven't had, like, an in-person exam in two plus years, and have it be closed notes. Mm. And it was, like, essay writing and stuff, so I really had to think about it. Um, and then, yeah, after that, I went, I had a pledge interview, and then I... Um, went to the lib to do more work, but I didn't yeah. do a lot of work. I was just thinking about work. <laughs> about all the work that you have to do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't even do work today. <laughs> yeah, and then came back, went grocery shopping with you guys, and mm. then had my meeting, and now I'm here. Mm. You have a lot of brain power today yeah. brain power like a lot of brain work <laughs> yeah my past few weeks have been a lot of brain work <laughs> working out your brain mm-hmm. that's a lot of socializing mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. oh i'm next mm-hmm. well today I woke up because Judy was choking on a pill. <laughs> that, was their, that was your alarm. Yeah. So I woke up and then I worked. But not really. I didn't really do work. The work I from met home my, life. my intern mentee and then I ate lunch and went to a cafe. What'd you eat? Ramen. Mm. That's why I'm bloated. <laughs> Insta ramen? Mm-hmm. Mm. And then I went to a cafe with my friend. I went grocery shopping with y'all. Mm. Came back and made dinner. Called my sister. Mm-hmm. Walked to my friends and had a game night. And okay. What games mm-hmm. did you play? Smash and um, Mario Party. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's kind of a lot. Mm. You did a lot today. I know. I feel like I didn't do a lot, though. Because when I was working, I, I wasn't really working. Well, it sounded like a lot of things like, <laughs> after your work, though. <laughs> wow. Every day, Emily's work seems so fun. It won't seem fun tomorrow. I come home once, and she's oh, napping. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My manager's coming back. Oh. Mm. 
Yeah, I was napping the other day. Mm-hmm. That was nice. I wanted to nap today. <laughs> Oh, me? Okay, today we'll go late. <laughs> I, I, left the the door. <laughs> I woke up so late. I left the house at like, my class starts at 9 30. I left the house at like 9 28. <laughs> so I got to class at like, actually, no, I left at like 9 30. <laughs> I got to class at like 9 35. It's an oh. Ivy Theater, so it's oh. really close. Mm-hmm. Then after that, came back. Um, had another class, but it was on Zoom. Mm-hmm. We weren't really paying attention, as always. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then after that, I had an active, active interview with someone, so mm-hmm. I walked to campus. <clears throat> I was going to stay on campus to go to the lab to do work, but I was like... You could have met over me. I know. I was like, maybe not. It's kind of cold. I didn't bring a jacket. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and so I came back, and then ate ramen. That's why I'm super bloated now. <laughs> so bloated hurts. Damn. Those ramen really did a number on you guys. Yeah. <laughs> well, Learned so my good. lesson. Never again. <laughs> and after that, I had my 3.30 class. So, oh, I did laundry today. Because mm. I wanted to wash the denim jacket. Mm. Mm. Yeah, and then went to class. Came back, went grocery shopping with you guys and then meeting now we're here mm-hmm. i feel like every morning i just say hi to you <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's so funny because you have <laughs> class at 9 30 i have work at 9 30 <laughs> <laughs> when we see each other it's like you shouldn't be here. <laughs> you shouldn't be here i shouldn't be here <laughs> so literally i'm always like i come out i'm like Aren't you late? And she's like, yeah. And she's like, aren't you late? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> it's every morning. I feel like, Dude, today I saw both of y'all. <laughs> yeah, I was leaving the door and Christine was like, oh, I, I never get to see you. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, I feel like this quarter I have like a lot of morning things. Me too. Yeah. The only times you get to stay like sleep in is like saturday and sunday mm-hmm. but sometimes mm. we've been planning a lot of things on the weekends so like <laughs> <laughs> there's only like one day of the week where like i sleep in that's a struggle yeah i think for me it's because this quarter all my work is in person because mm. last quarter it was early but then it was also online so i would just wake up like five minutes right before mm. or a minute before yeah same for me it's like if it's not class in the morning it's like work in the morning mm-hmm. your turn How's your day? host of the podcast oh i'm the think? host of course yeah this is at your equipment and everything <laughs> <laughs> we don't have access to this podcast we just film and then we just leave <laughs> mm. so i woke up at like 9 30 ish <laughs> Is very lively at that time. <laughs> <laughs> it when it shouldn't be. <laughs> yeah, usually on gone. Tuesdays when I wake up, I'm home alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not, not this Tuesday. Oh, yeah, Judy didn't go to class. Yeah. <laughs> there was a lot of people. Um, yeah, so... Was there any breakfast? Oh, I made a breakfast burrito. Ooh. Yeah. But I couldn't finish it, and also, like, my stomach was hurting. I think it's because I was nervous for my acting midterm, too. Mm. So, which is why I told you not to go into the bathroom. Yeah, (laughs) yeah. Took a fat dump in there. And then, (laughs) um, so I I was late to class, to my Mm -hmm. midterm. (laughs) (laughs) Can't believe you're late. But it's okay, because in in the beginning of class, we do, like, like stretches and, like, warm-ups and stuff like that. Um, But I don't think she counted me as late. Mm. Was your partner worried? My partner is always late. Oh. Yeah. Um. yeah. So, I, I arrived before him. <laughs> Technically, I'm not late. <laughs> yeah, and then, um, yeah. Early is on time. Okay. Wait. <laughs> Wait. No, sorry. On time is early. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
and then oh yeah, I recorded my midterm for y'all. Mm. But... Watch it later. Don't look. Mm. Don't <laughs> look. <laughs> yeah, we'll just watch it later. <laughs> um, yeah, and then oh, the other groups were so in- freaking interesting. I'm so mm. happy I w- we went first. Mm. Oh, you guys went yeah. first. Yeah. Whoa, you, like, you both relate. Huh? <laughs> oh yeah. So like, there's a whiteboard in the room, and then the our teacher like put like uh, one through nine, and you basically sign up for your slot. And then she had a marker, like she had a marker in her pocket the entire time. And when somebody asked, like, "Oh, how do we decide the order?" she pulled out the marker, oh. and so it's like a free for all, right? But luckily, my partner was right next to her, and he's super tall. So then, like, he like snatched it. <laughs> I was like, "Yes, let's go!" <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah, and then during the performance, my voice cracked. Oh, my, like my. <laughs> I was like, "Oh shit!" It was towards the end. I was like, "Damn, do we have to do like this?" Um, <laughs> but apparently, like, it wasn't that obvious when I asked other people. Mm. Yeah, and I also got complimented on my robot voice. Mm. Yeah. 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 Nice. yeah, and then, okay, after that, I went to a meeting with the stage manager for theater and dance. But I couldn't find his office for, like, a good, like, seven minutes. But it's okay, I was still early. <laughs> <laughs> and then I thought, like... I thought in order to be the light light board operation or sound operation operator, you have to like do an interview. So I thought it was gonna be like an interview, but no, he was just like, "Oh yeah, here's the schedule. I'm gonna put you down. Sign this waiver." And I was like, okay, that's it. <laughs> "But like, I'm gonna be so busy end of May and beginning of June. Like literally, my enti- all of the nights." Like, uh, ending of May and beginning of June. Yeah, Isn't like, it like May- finals week? Yeah. No, that week. Oh. Are you be busy dead week? Mm-hmm. Oh, damn. How many hours per day? Uh, five. <gasps> oh. five, and a half. five? A day? You should be getting paid. Yeah, that's okay. Because there's, like, rehearsal. I got to be there for mm-hmm. training and rehearsal. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's, like, from the 24th to June 3rd. Wow. It's, like, two weeks worth. But I think it'll be fun. I was watching TikToks after I came home. I was watching TikToks on like live in three, two. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to do that. Blackpink <laughs> coming up. <laughs> but yeah, it's is a it, dance, dance is it one. Just gonna be you. Um. Yeah, I'll be the only one doing light, but I think I'll be sitting next to the audio person, the sound person. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Mm, like in the booth in the back, you know. Mm. Yeah, that's mm. so cool. Oh my god, I've always wanted to do that. Okay, and then what else did I do? Oh yeah, I took a nap, and then I <laughs> went uh, grocery shopping. Oh no, I got blendies too today with Austin. Um, and then dinner, and then pottery. That's okay. I made a nice bowl, but it took mm. an hour. Mm. Yeah. It was like within... By the time I made my bowl, the person next to me made three pieces and was trimming. And I was like, damn. <laughs> damn. <laughs> Shit's hard. Yeah. Very sore. Yeah. I wish I did it earlier so then I could keep practicing. Yeah, keep practicing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm barely goal. learning mm-hmm. now. Yeah. Me too. Because it's only once a week. So yeah. Like... Yeah, and then... Uh, there's only... I only have two more pottery classes before I, it's final glazing mm. so I'm kind of sad like I think the mm. next two weeks I'm gonna do like slab stuff cause that's mm. been that's what I've been planning to do for the past two weeks but I never did mm. yeah and then I came home ate um the circuit uh <laughs> <laughs> failed on me <laughs> it tripped it tripped it did not put a bandaid on it you didn't put in rice Hmm? You didn't try putting it in rice? <laughs> it tripped. <laughs> <laughs> the bandy didn't work. Something's gotta work. Yeah. And then I told Austin to come check it out. He was like, you could have gotten electrocuted. I was like, oh. But I did it. So that's fine. Wanna tell them what they're eating? Oh, I'm eating baked potatoes. What they're eating? <laughs> what, what you're eating? <laughs> I'm eating baked potatoes seasoned with garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, chili powder, olive oil, salt, and pepper. Mm. 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 Mm
Just a bunch of seasonings. Yummy. Yeah. The more seasonings, the better. Mm-hmm. 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 We're not white people here. Mm-hmm. We're not white people here. Also, I checked my skin tone was not white. So. Cool. I'm glad you see color. So, this episode is brought to you by (laughs) Better Help. Dude, this podcast is just going to be me chewing. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much ASMR this time. Do you last see? Time it? Just like, yeah, I can see the... the when, when it moves, see, when yeah. you chew? Yeah. Whoa. It's a good mic. Yeah. You have the same one. Yeah. <laughs> can you give us a singing segment? It's so softly. Oh. You can still hear it. Maybe later. Maybe later. When we all sing together. What, well, 16 uh, minutes? Can you sing us a song? Can we request a song for you to sing for us? Yep. Yeah. Do you make your own songs? No. That's too hard. Can we request Taylor Swift? Ooh. Can we sing it together? Enchanted. Oh, I like Enchanted. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> what happens it together? <laughs> We're here I don't for, think that's a Taylor Swift song. We're oh. here for moral support. Oh. <laughs> that makes me anxious. <laughs> Yes, yes. Did you finish that podcast no, episode? No, I didn't get to finish. I only got to halfway. Oh, uh, but you <laughs> you got the part of the if he wanted to, he would thing. Yeah, yeah. Mm. That's, we got to. I got to the point where the last thing I heard was um, texting X. Oh mm. yeah. yeah. Should we talk about our texting X? Mm. Wait, 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 let's talk about what what you think about um the the if you wanted to he would part. Okay, I'm still a little confused what that means. Because they were talking about it, like, if he wanted to, he would. And, and they were saying how it's, like, it's implying that he knows what you want kind of thing, right? Mm. So it's, like... It was, like, basically that they were saying, like, Christine was saying that um, the phrase, like, if he wanted to, he would, isn't a good phrase to use. Like, it sounds really... It's really toxic because... When you keep saying that, you keep, like, having that mindset, you basically think that he's supposed to know what you're thinking without you telling him. Like, he's supposed to be psyching and read your mind. Because, like, like, let's say, like, you guys, you're in a bad mood or something, and he's like, what's wrong? And then you're like, nothing. And then you just think, if he wanted to, he would. Like, he would know what you're thinking about. Mm -hmm. I kind of think that phrase, like, can't apply to every situation, it can't right well mm. it can but it also it's like very like depends on situation because mm. it's kind of like most of the time it's like very little things that's like what we kind of use it as is like oh he didn't get me flowers like if he wanted to he would oh but he didn't know that you wanted flowers like oh mm. Mm. So it's like how is he supposed to read your mind that he you wanted flowers and stuff or like mm. I think it's like it was supposed to be used for a very trivial thing but then now it's like people use it so much that it's becoming like oh you're saying it as if like you think that he's supposed to read your mind mm. Mm. yeah what do you guys think the tarot? <laughs> <laughs> no thoughts <laughs> I think in the situation that um, if he asks you like what's wrong and then you're like oh if he wanted to he would that doesn't really make sense to me it's mm-hmm. like he's asking you what you want and if you don't tell him that's on you that's yeah. that's just saying yeah. like oh I don't, I don't want to communicate with you and like mm-hmm. my excuse is that 
if you wanted to do something for me, you would. But it's like, bro, he just asked you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why it's so toxic. Because you're, like, going against, like, communicating with people. Yeah. You're, like, depending on them. Be like, if he wanted to find out, he would. Mm. I think, like, the only way it makes sense is if you said, like, oh, like, I want flowers or something. And he doesn't get it for you. Mm -hmm. Then it's like, yeah, if he wanted to, he would. Mm -hmm. Because you told him what you wanted. Yeah, that would be on him. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. I agree. How about back on texting X now? Mm. Do you guys get texting X? Mm-hmm. I think when people our age use the la- laughing emoji with the tears. Mm. That's a texting X. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah, do you guys use emojis a lot? I don't use emojis often. Oh, I use emojis. I do sometimes. I think I do, I do. Wait, what's wrong with using emojis? Dude, I don't think there's anything wrong. I don't think oh. there's anything wrong with it. It's just, I just... Do you just... not type them emojis, really? <laughs> Whoa. I think for me, it's just kind of... It's too annoying to find the right emoji. Yeah. Oh. I use more emo- emoticon. <coughs> mm, I like barely the, use that too. Oh. I use a lot of emojis, but then also like my emojis when I use them, it's like one emoji I can use it for multiple contexts. <laughs> like you know the crying face emoji. Mm-hmm. Like I could use that for like jokes. Mm. If I'm having a bad day. Mm. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Like I use it a lot. Versatile emojis. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I never noticed that you guys don't use a lot of emojis. Yeah, I actually use the laugh emoji a lot. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I not to me though. Like, I, I've never. I don't think you've ever used it to me. Oh, uh, I feel like it's when I don't want to like type out ha ha. Um, um, or like sometimes I I do like exclamation points when I'm like excited about something. So in real life, I'd be like, Ee! but then like I don't type it out. I just like do the exclamation points. Oh yeah, that's mm-hmm. what I think. Emoji yeah. fact. So the Smithsonian Museum actually collected <laughs> a emoji that was the bi biracial interracial marriage couple emoji and that emoji was the hardest one to like code or something like that because there were so many races to like take into account oh Mm -hmm. so that one was like a breakthrough of emojis oh that's crazy yeah like my emoji fact (laughs) wait the smithsonian did what though collected or like collected like basically like put it in their smithsonian collection collection. Which is like something museums don't do because they museums don't collect digital yeah. Yeah. things. It's like NFTs. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <clears throat> so how, do you know how they display it? I'm assuming digitally. <laughs> I don't know. Do they, do they, like, the Unicode thing? Or the... Yeah. I don't know how... I don't know if they really display it, but it's in their collection, I think. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. Sorry, um, texting X. <laughs> <laughs> texting X. It's not really texting X, but you guys text the way you guys talk. Because I definitely do. <laughs> <laughs> you heard me earlier. You know when I texted in the group chat, I was like, Emily, when you come home, I was saying it out loud as I was texting it. So she heard me, and then she got the chat. Yeah, she got the message like five seconds later. <laughs> I think I do text how I speak. I think you do too. Mm. I think mm. I do. I started using the word y'all a lot mm. because at my company, they were like, you're not supposed to say guys. Like, you're not supposed yeah. to say you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So then I'm like very aware of it. But at the same time, I don't really like using y'all. Are you y'all? Like, like, saying it? Yeah. I feel like, maybe you all. But then that also sounds kind of weird. Do you all? Do you all want coffee? Do y'all want coffee? Do y'all want coffee? Do you all want coffee? I think I say y'all a lot. I say y'all a lot. Yeah. Kind of use them interchangeably. I never Mm. notice. Mm.
A text to X. Do you guys think I text the way I speak? You? No. Yeah. Oh, I sometimes by how you text, I can tell your tone. Mm. Like, if she doesn't have any like emojis or anything, or like it's very proper, then she's asking a genuine question. She's like, <laughs> Do you guys want to get groceries after Lena's friends class? Yeah, I can oh, hear yeah, you. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that sounds exactly like her tone. <laughs> yeah. It's a serious question. <laughs> exactly. But, like, I we can totally hear it in your tone. Uh, it sounded okay. just like her. <laughs> That's so funny. Sometimes, sometimes when I, like, send her, like, funny texts, her jokes, and then when she replies with the capital is bah ha ha ha, the heck, and then I know she's laughing, laughing. Do y'all think I text like how I speak? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's pretty accurate. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was a fast answer. <laughs> <laughs> Or maybe we're just so used to each other, like, mm. like talking to each other, so that it's like we get to right away, like, or we can hear it oh, in yeah. each other's yeah. tone right away yeah. in our heads. What other texting things? They type in a long paragraph. Oh, really? Oh my God. About their day. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Do people do that? Wait, no, yeah. 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 My sister and her boyfriend. Oh, you told us about They that text in long paragraphs. I'm like, oh my that's God. disgusting. <laughs> Why do you guys do that? Oh. I like, or look over at like, her texting her boyfriend. I was like, just big blocks. It's like yeah. the whole ass essay. Okay, are you guys like a one message sender or are you guys a multiple text multiple. sender? Multiple text mm. I like to keep it like, if I'm telling a story, yeah. I like to keep them waiting for the next. <laughs> <laughs> like, the pod, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Gotta get creative. The end of the pod, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then like when my friend does that to me, I'm like, no, send it all in one message. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if people type in one big paragraph and they usually don't, then I'm like, oh, this is important. Yeah. Um, but then otherwise, it's like, if you'd always do that, I'd be like, oh, no, so I just, read. I don't understand because I'm the type of person when I text, I put, I like, I put LOLs or like, I put like a smiley face mm-hmm. or I do an exclamation part, like Mark. But then if you're texting in such a long paragraph, like, what do you put? Period. Comma? Yeah. But like sentences. Completely. <laughs> <laughs> now I just sound so dumb. <laughs> but like, why would you text them a period? Yeah. That's an egg. <laughs> That's a period. <laughs> if it you're makes me typing a sen- if you're texting a sentence and the first letter of the word of the first word is capitalized and then you follow with a period that's an ick for me mm. <laughs> is it okay if the first letter is capitalized but there's no period yeah i, I think mm. it's, it's mostly the yeah, mostly really the period automatic. is throwing it off like mm. if you say let's go get coffee but it's like especially capitalized <laughs> l let's go, let's get, go get coffee period, period. that's kind of scary no that's period scary. Makes okay period. let me send you my schedule <laughs> How does Thursday sure. 2 p.m. work for you? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, period is definitely very strong. Yeah. It's like how I would type like the middle school or something. Yeah. <laughs> like an essay. Mm-hmm. How about exclamation points? I do that a lot. I, do I love lot. exclamation do points. Well, I mean, I don't text you guys that often, so. <laughs> but I do use it when I'm, like, texting, like, people... For like other things, you know. No. When you text people, you're, you're not as close to. Yeah, when I'm not as close to, points. like, I use exclamation points. So sound I sound try to try to sound friendly, mm, <laughs> like puppy, and we're like, hey, hey. let's go out. <laughs> I think in my emails, I use a lot of exclamation mm. points. Oh, I oh, need to stop yeah. doing that. But it's so weird for me to type the period. <laughs> <laughs> I think when Chloe 
close friends use exclamation points, I'm like, why are they being so happy? <laughs> like, what, what do they want from me? <laughs> why are you being like this? <laughs> Watch me start texting Christine tomorrow. Hi, Christine. It's like, it's like too energetic, you know what I mean? It's like, I'm like, no, this is not, this is not what I need right now. <laughs> What if someone messages you in all caps like Christine? <laughs> oh, then that's how you know it's important. Um, mm. Or they have some like tea something to, to say. If I text her in all caps Christine, I know the first one she will. Huh? What? 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 <laughs> <laughs> I can just hear. It. Yeah, I can hear that too. <laughs> Take this potato. You were literally stabbing for a yeah, potato. <laughs> Would anybody like the last potato? No, thank you. Please take it. I told you to (laughs) take it. Oh. Oh. (laughs) What were you going to say? No, no, say yours first. Say yours first. Say yours first. I have too many eggs. I I think when they send too many photos over. Of what? Anything. Just, what? Who do you be talking to? Like that? <laughs> oh, I guess like. Wait, give like me a fam- Like you know when like your family members go goes on a trip and they send you photos, oh, and then it's wait, like. Wait, but I love that. Wait, I like that. It's cute. For what family? I mean, okay. How many photos is your max? Until you. I think oh. if I'm not in it, then. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like if it's like like pictures of like scenery or like. Oh. Things that look the same. From your family, normal. though? You, but yeah, do you get eggs from family? Oh, uh, yeah. You know. <laughs> I think I only usually look at, like, the first three. If it's, like, oh, like, I went to Canada, and here is, like, a Canada leaf. Or something like that. Mm-hmm. Like, scenery. Oh. Even so though I think my dad is a great photographer, I only look at the first three. Mm-hmm. So on Instagram, would you swipe through all the pictures people have? or like It mm-hmm. depends who it is. And like how how artsy or like how cool their pictures look. So you don't think your dad's artsy? <laughs> I don't like his photography style. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, your family could be an egg. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I have so many peppies with them. <laughs> <laughs> but then an egg is like. I don't know if it counts for family though, because they're your family. I think it's general though because like even if your family does it or like your friend does it it's still a general texting I feel like for you it's not an egg but it's just annoying oh mm. like something you find annoying that your family does because mm. it, it gets more of like it's more like like a grossed out kind of thing oh. mm. it's it's like it means you're, it, you're gonna go Ugh. yeah oh yeah, I think oh, then in that case, I don't know if I can say I have texting X. <laughs> yeah, me too. I, I'm not that extreme. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's more about the content. <laughs> not about the punctuation <laughs> or the emojis. <laughs> Although it does kind of bother me when Henry sends that laughing face emoji. He does, <laughs> he does, yeah. I asked him, I was like, why do you do this? Oh. He sent the laughing face emoji? Mm-hmm. A lot? Like in every, uh, at the end of that. every sentence? No, 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 no. Oh. Mm-hmm. Hey, Christine, laughing. <laughs> what did he say to that? He said, at first he used it as a joke, but now he just uses it. <laughs> so, like, I don't know what He's like, become the joke. <laughs> he said he used to use it ironically, and now it's just like, it's there. Mm. <laughs> like, oh, something weird Darren used to do is like commas as sarcasm. Huh? huh? Yeah. Like, comma, and, comma, comma, comma? Yeah. Like, oh, he'd say I something and then come, come, come. And I was like, what, what does that mean? Yeah, I didn't know what that meant either. I didn't yeah. get it. I just thought they didn't want to use dot, dot, dot. <laughs> yeah, me too. I was like, why don't they want to use the dots? <laughs> so, comma meant sarcasm? If they oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Because oh. Andrew texted me with comma, comma, comma. I was like, oh, really? <gasps> never texted me <laughs> I like didn't that before. that. I did have people, someone text me before, when they used that comma, comma, comma thing to, like, separate from, like, one sentence from, to an- from another oh. sentence. So I just thought, like, oh, did you not want to use dot, dot, dot? <laughs> like, it's comma, 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 something else. <laughs> yeah. After the first few times, I had to ask. So I was like, it's kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Yeah, I just stopped asking just because I was like, I don't want to keep learning these new things. <laughs> <laughs> There's too much. <laughs> I can't keep up. There's so much going on with texting. Mm. What do you guys feel about like emojis but not using the emojis? So it's like using the symbols and stuff. Like, Symbol- you know how I do XD? Oh, I like XD. Dude, I barely even knew what XD meant. <laughs> like, I couldn't see the face for the longest time. Oh, I still don't. <laughs> I don't see it. No. How? Would you say you're a visual learner? Or <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that question just popped out of my head. What is the hands on one called? Hands on? What? Like, when you have to learn with by doing. Hands oh. on. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're more hands on. So. so if you draw it, <laughs> yeah. draw right you have to you have to actually use that face on your face, like that expression on your face. That's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> kind of cute. <laughs> I I like it when people do that, mm-hmm. like the emoticons. Mm. Instead of, like, texting an emoji, they use that instead. Mm -hmm. What about the ones that are really long? Oh. Like, with all the sparkles and stuff. Oh. Oh. And it's, like, a full person. There is no way. There's no way they they take the time to type it out. Is that a, like, built-in? Yeah, there's, oh, yeah. There's also the Japanese keyboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what do you think about them? It's a little weird. I don't know. I've never. I feel like. I feel like. I've seen some people do mm. it. Yeah. I've seen people do that too. But it's like, if I see them do it, I see that, and I automatically know they're a very, like, uwu person. Yeah, they're too mm. happy them for in, me. Yeah, I put mm. them in the uwu category. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm knowing you. I, yeah. I think uwu is an ick for me. Mm. Yeah. Oh, really? I can't. I, I, I can't. can't. If you're gonna, if you type uwu. What about owo? No, same. <laughs> it's not the same, but just a different letter. Oh. Is it? I don't know. I do the O-O. O-O? Mm-hmm. But, like, you know how people, like, end every sentence with oo o That was weird. That was weird. Yeah. I need like that. I feel like I would start. I start my sentences with O-O. O-O? Like, oh whoa, That's so nice of you. Oh, oh, I thought you say oh, whoa. Oh, no. <laughs> Are you meant O W O O? Yeah, yeah. O W O. Mm. Yeah. It was very popular a few years back, mm. but I feel like people who type every sentence of oo now for oo would be an ick for me. Mm-hmm. They're like. What do you want to do today? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Move aside. Ooh. Ew. That's gross. I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> if someone types like that's it. Let's say I think if it's every a sentence, classmate. That's way too much. Yeah, that's a that's classmate weird. from a class texts you and like wants to be friends with you. But like, do you want to do you want to hang out? And you're like, sure. And they're like, yes. Ooh. Where do you want to go? Oh well. That's weird. That's Ooh. weird. People text like that? Both uwu and uwu in one <laughs> No, they say, they say, yay, uwu, sent. And then, where do you want to go? Owo, sent. I think that's not going to deter me from hanging out with them. Mm. Because I met them in real life, right? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Have you guys met anyone that's very different from how they text in real life? Or like, have met anyone in real life where it's very mm. different from how they text? It's hard to say, I don't text a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> Who were you hanging out with yesterday? <laughs> I was oh. gonna say. <laughs> but I don't wanna bring it up. <laughs> that's one person. Is that one person like different from how they text, or is it? Are they? No, it's pretty much the same. Mm. Okay. There was this guy in high school. He still talked how he texted, but it was unique because he was like super, super serious, <laughs> and he would like put the periods and punctuation and everything. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> 
the same high school. Yeah. Who was it? I want to say it wasn't Andrew, but I don't really I don't remember. Know Andrew, I forgot everybody I, in I, high school. Yeah, I can't really remember his name. We had AP Spanish together. Yeah. He's a very serious person. Yeah. Oh, I think I know you're talking about. Oh, okay, yeah. Like, he, he, had, he had the glasses, person. and, like, he, he like, never really smiled. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. <laughs> That's an interesting man. Yeah. Very interesting man. I wonder man. what he's doing now. English life. literature. What? Probably farm life. He was really smart. Yeah. Farm life? Far in life. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I heard, I heard life? I like, oh, he's abroad? Oh, maybe. Oh, farm, farm life. Farm life. Yeah. <laughs> farm yeah. life. I mean, he's smart. He could probably yeah, like, like, make a living. Mean? I was like, what do you mean? He's smart. He's in farm life. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I had class when he was like in AP Gov or something. Yeah. And he like, our teacher... We just try to like talk to him more to get more out of him because <laughs> he was just straight up answering and that's it <laughs> like you got mm. nothing from him so you know what i think like like really when you're really smart in high school mm-hmm. like you feel you feel extremely out of place mm. even more out of place than like someone who is not very intelligent because then everybody else is like a joke to Oh, but that wouldn't that only arrogant. yeah that would just yeah. depend on if they're looking down on people if they think that yeah. they're smarter than everybody then they wouldn't be very smart if that's mm-hmm. how they think mm-hmm. i guess not like look down but like i guess like maybe you can't really relate to them as much i don't know i i, I, I feel like i understand i think i get where you're yeah. going with yeah it. but then also it's like you know not saying it's like if you think you're really smart, like you're smarter than a lot of people, then you're not not actually that smart. Mm-hmm. Like a really smart person would never think, or would never acknowledge that they are the smartest one in the room. I feel like anyone who's different, like if they're smarter or like not as smart as other people, probably feel more insecure that like they don't relate as much to other people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They would think. I feel like they would think that they're like around average. Or like the same as everybody else in the room or something. Mm. <clears throat> Did you have people like that that are arrogant in mm. high school? There is one person who was really, really smart. And like, everybody kind of put him on a pedestal. Mm. But then, like, I never really interacted with him. But at times it would kind of feel like, oh, he feels lonely. Mm-hmm. Oh, like, I, would, I guess you see that, in his, <coughs> see that in his eyes. Like mm-hmm. everyone's expecting a lot of things from him because he's mm-hmm. so smart. Mm-hmm. But it wasn't like he was. No. Oh, huh? he, it's not. It wasn't like he thinks he's better than any, everybody else, right? Um, like he wasn't arrogant. I felt it. I don't think I interacted with him enough to know that. I think there's probably some arrogance, because like in high school mm-hmm. but he also worked hard mm-hmm. but like I feel like it would be very lonely mm-hmm. there was this guy who was really smart at our high school and he was like younger than everyone else but he like skipped a few grades oh damn so then he was really insecure if people would bring up like oh you're so young mm-hmm. it's like oh I don't want you guys to think about that But when it happened, flex. Amitav. He was. He you was like. <laughs> he was a year <laughs> older than us. Huh? He was a year older than us, oh, but yeah. like two years younger than us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait. Are the names seems How many years? Wait. So he skipped three. Like two. He skipped two grades. Mm-hmm. I think. Wait. Wait, wait, I'm going oh, to do it. So he, yeah, his graduating class was a year older than yeah. us. But his yeah. age wise was uh, two years younger than us. Wait, wait. Uh, no, I think he was one year younger than us. Mm. So he yeah. was supposed to be. He was supposed to 19. be the year after us. Yeah. yeah. So he was two years ahead. He skipped two grades. Mm hmm. That's the thing, I feel like if I ever have, like, okay, if I ever have a child that's really smart, like, I would not want them to skip a grade. Because I feel like mm-hmm. when you're that age, 
you should experience those things. Mm. And like, even though skipping like a year, a grade or two might not seem like much, mm -hmm. uh, like number wise, like the experiences you have will be different. So you would rather have your kid experience the social life, yeah, rather than like, like pursuing like his their like. Education yeah, like the social and like the child development, I think is more important mm. than that the makes education. Because it's like they, you could also enroll them into like other activities and stuff yeah. outside of school yeah. if they want to further expand on that. But yeah. I feel like school, like an important as, like aspect of it, is the social part mm. because that's where you learn to make yeah. friends and, and like, you learn yeah. to know what you're comfortable with. Yeah. Would you guys put your kids into private school or public school? Public. Public. I don't think I'll ever have the money. <laughs> but, like, if, let's say you had the money for, like, if you had the chance and opportunity to get, put your kid into private school or public school, would you rather put your Public. I think private offers, like, a really good education opportunity, but um, public is also really good. And I don't know. I feel like private, they would just start... Like, I grew up from very strict and conservative parents, so it's like, if I put them through private, they would just end up, like, because of how strict my parents are, I end up having to hide a lot of things from them, mm -hmm. and I already go to a public school, or went to a public school, so it's like, if I put them into a private school, then it's like, I feel like they would hide even more things from me as a parent, mm -hmm. because of, like, I, like, the, I feel like the notion of me putting them into a pu private school would be, like, I'm setting very high expectations for them. Like I want them to do this and do that. And, like putting them down like a like path that I already directed for them. But I feel like if I put them through public school, it gives them the opportunity to explore what they want to do. And it's like if they make mistakes, like they gotta learn that it's their own mistakes and they gotta learn how to fix themselves. Mm. Basically, I don't want to spoil them. Yeah, I agree with that. I feel like private school is like for more privileged kids mm -hmm. and then like if they want to go to a private school for college that's fine but mm -hmm. I think like in general like lower levels of education it's not necessary mm. what do you guys think I would put my kids into public school but the thing is like with public school if you think about it the system is really messed up Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't want them to go through that system because it's just like public schools are built in a way that are kind of like prisons. Mm -hmm. Like, even with private schools, too, like, I think the education system needs to work better. But I'd still put my kids into public school just because, like, the social aspect of it and, like, it's important that they, like, learn those social skills from mm -hmm. public schools. schools or I think the education system needs to be worked on better yeah I think with private schools too like it's more for like more privileged families yeah. and kids and I think public school there is a wider wider range and I feel like putting a, my kid through public school will kind of help them understand like you know like there's not just if you go to private school there's just privileged people like, like it's isolation. not just privilege yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. like there's a lot of people and i think going to a public school will help them recognize how privileged they themselves are to be able yeah. to go to public exactly. school. to be able to go to school at all mm -hmm. what do you guys think of homeschooling mm. homeschooling has its purposes like like there's just some people that can't do public school just because of like personal reasons. Mm -hmm. Like there's like people that have religious purposes too. Mm -hmm. And like I don't think there's anything wrong with homeschooling. But the people the parents that do homeschooling just because they're afraid that their kids are like gonna be bad or whatever, mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. think that's right. Like that yeah. d doesn't that doesn't help them at all. Mm -hmm. If they think yeah. that they can teach better than like teachers yeah. at a school. Like, those people are the ones that are like, oh, I could raise my kids better, but like, mm -hmm. there's just not so much that your parent, you yourself as a parent can do, because mm -hmm. they need to be put into the real world too. Mm -hmm. The idea of a homeschooling was so interesting to me when I first learned about it. Mm -hmm. 
Because I don't think they had that in, like, Hong Kong. Or at least I didn't know about it. But, like, yeah, when I got here, I was like, yeah, my mom can teach me? <laughs> I remember going to my mom. I was like, you can teach me science. And she's like, no. <laughs> one family um where the mom homeschooled her kid until i think like middle school mm. and then they went to a public school mm. was it difficult for them because i heard a lot of people who like mm. homeschool and or like, i think maybe like actually maybe they went to public school and high school like they went to Bangor. Mm. Um, mm. Oh, so they went they were homeschooled to middle school and then they went to public in high school I think so it was, I think it was that or like towards the end of middle school damn that's scary mm-hmm. yeah, yeah that's it was it was scary. like it was really scary for her mm-hmm. um and also this family had like there were four kids in this family and oh. I think almost all four kids did uh. actually no there are five kids mm-hmm. oh. yeah yeah but like Straight into high school. And high school is already, like, so clicky. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right when you jump in. Yeah. But surprisingly, like, the two... The two daughters that I know, um, they're thriving, so... But it's also, mm-hmm. like, their personality. Yeah, the show. they are mm-hmm. pretty extroverted. Like, and when you used to be homeschooled, you'd still be, like, extroverted. And it's just, like, your personality. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Homeschooling? I just I don't understand it because I don't know like because there isn't like a is like a certain curriculum for them to follow, right? Well, I mm. think for homeschooling they still have to do like like the official tests or whatever. Too. Yeah, but then it's not like how to like the do the parents have to do anything to be able to homeschool them like their kids? Oh, like a certificate? Or anything? Yeah. yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, then so. how did they get like get those like modules or whatever however they teach probably find things oh to teach and stuff yeah. Yeah. they have like notebooks maybe I don't know yeah. I was like oh when I was at your age I learned about this and then let me look for it and stuff yeah. I, I think, think they should genuinely there's like a, probably some sort of curriculum cause like yeah. by certain grade levels you have mm. to learn certain things true But it's more of like, I feel like for homeschooling for those people, it's like, I would ask the parents, like, why? Mm. Like, why, wait, why what? Like, why would you homeschool rather than, like, just put your kids into, like, public school or, like, private school? Mm. Yeah. I think I only know one person that was homeschooled, I think, like, a few years of her elementary, and then she went to public school. I never asked about it. But. Would you guys ever homeschool your kids? No. No. I don't think I could be a teacher. <laughs> yeah, me too. Okay, okay. Right. You yeah, have to so. relearn the material to teach them. <laughs> it's mm, kind of hard. That's true. <laughs> How about you, Christine? I think, thinking about it now, I think I was homeschooled for Chinese school. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but it wasn't my my mom. Oh, it was my friend's mom, which mm. was my neighbor. You told so me like that. a tutor. Yeah. Oh yeah, but like she had like a quote curriculum. Oh. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's like, nice. Like we progressed through the books. Yeah. And then like, we took the tests. Oh, we took the AP test. Oh. Yeah, she trained us to take the AP test and the SAT Chinese test. Oh. Okay. And then we also also have like publications in the newspaper. Oh. Yeah. yeah. About what? Um, it was like in in this like Chinese newspaper back home. They have a family or kid section, mm-hmm. and then in that kid section, you can like submit your oh my god like essays or whatever. Um, she wrote an essay as a kid. <laughs> okay. okay. And then like they would put like book muffa uh-huh. next to it so like kids can read it. Oh, so, yeah. that's so cool. Yeah. That is cool. I wish I knew another language well. You know Chinese? Not well. Uh, <laughs> can you can speak Mandarin? Cantu. Oh, you can understand Canto? Not that much. Only like if I have context. Wait, I thought you were Taiwanese. No, I'm Chinese. Or I'm Cantonese. <gasps> but I learned Mandarin when I was a kid. 
Oh my god, I thought the whole time you were Taiwanese. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just my freshman year roommates were Taiwanese. So they were oh. like, oh, come with us. Oh. Hey, wait, Christine's in Taza and she's not Taiwanese. Oh, but yeah, but yeah, I've been she, known yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people in Taza think I'm Taiwanese too. Oh. Until they see my last name. Like, yeah, oh, I was like, not. Chen's not really. <laughs> you're not. Mm, yeah. Because it would Uber be C H E N. Oh, yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. You have the same last name as, a, as my mom. Mm. Oh. We're actually related, so. Is your, but your mom's not Taiwanese, right? My mom? Is no, my mom's Kanto. Oh. Her, because she's Kanto. Mm. Mm. That's why it's C H A N. Oh. How do the. For some reason, I was thinking about Chen. <laughs> <laughs> How do all the Chinese, like, surnames come about? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I don't know. Wait, yeah, so That's a loaded question. <laughs> it's like, how does any surname come about? <laughs> oh, like for uh, for for Viet, there's like a lot of Yuans and like Trans. Oh, it's based on the king, right? Yeah, a lot of them mm-hmm. wanted to be part of royalty, so they changed their last name to a lot to Yuan and Trans. Do so they use like that for like dynasties too? I don't think so. Mm-hmm. I used to think, like, oh, it was, like, one family that, like, branched out, so technically all the chats are related to, like, one family. I honestly thought that, too. But you I know what I thought? She's like, no, not it. I thought, I thought that, too. Uh, and I thought that I was from the Song Dynasty. <laughs> <laughs> and then I looked it up. The emperor from Song Dynasty was not even Song. <laughs> oh, I think it was Zoo or something. <laughs> Wait, what is your last name in Mandarin? Song. It's the same thing as... Soong is the same thing as oh, Song. So but like, like Song. Yeah. Oh. So Soong okay. is like the Shanghainese version of Song, I mm. think. Because my grandpa is Shanghainese. Oh. Yeah. So we just kept it. That's S-O-O-N-G. But it's the same thing as S-O-N-G. Mm. But yeah. I only ever know one other person in my life that has the same last name as me and she used to go to the same church as me and then her her dad's car the license plate was s-o-o-n-g oh, and nice. i was like i was like dad we have to change our license plate now <laughs> <laughs> yeah and she went to the same church as me too i was like what are the chances because yeah. nobody i've never met anybody that has the same last name as me it's really unique yeah I think that's why I always get asked too. They're like, "Oh, where are you from?" Because mm. it's hard to tell with the two O's. Mm. Oh shit! Sorry, I missed it. My mom's last name is Deer, like D E R E. D E R E. Oh. And apparently, it's based off of like is that shit, a two? shit in oh. Mandarin, but then in Canto, it's like I don't know if it's actually Canto, but it's like Deer. Like the thing Oh, but in Canto it would be de. Yeah, so I don't know why it's spelled like that. Wouldn't it oh, be T Z E then? I think it might be like a like a what do they call it? Like the pirate accent? <laughs> pirate accent? Yeah. What is that? I don't know. Like the older people in my family mm-hmm. you know the pirate accent, but that's what they call it to me. <laughs> you know what I find is really cool is like their Chinese last name is two letter two characters. Like Ouyang, Ouyang. Oh yeah. So it's like their whole full like Chinese name is four letters instead of three letters. Yeah. And I was like, wow. It's usually three, but then like some people have two too. Yeah. Like just two parts of it all. That's mm-hmm. interesting. Mm-hmm. NAP. Do you know what your name is? Um, yeah, my name is um, so it's it's supposed to mean like small bamboo or something oh, like that. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, I think. I don't know for sure. <laughs> Which part means small? Jok. Oh, Jok means small. I think Lin means bamboo. Oh. I think. I could be totally wrong. <laughs> I don't know. For some reason, that fits you very well. Small bamboo? Yeah. <laughs> really? Well, you're the smallest of us and you like plants. 
I'm the smallest. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> like shortest one? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not that small, guys. I'm average height. Five you are ones. average. <laughs> Five are average. Yeah. For some reason, everyone in this house is tall. I know. <laughs> making me look so small. <laughs> you're a good height. You're a good height. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> If you had kids, would you like have like a Chinese last or Chinese name? Um, I would, but I don't. I don't know. Like my Chinese name is my middle name. Mm. Your Chinese name is your middle name. Yeah, but I don't think it's even like considered correct because there's a space between it. It's not like one word. Mm. I think usually most people's are one word. Mm. Wait, what's but your Chinese name? Huang Jiaxi. Mm. Yeah. What's yours? You can say it in Canton. Oh. <laughs> Song Cha Yang. Oh. I think mine is Wang Gaiyan. Oh, Wang Gaiyan? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds better. But I would definitely give them a Chinese name. Mm. I don't know if it would be like. Official though. Mm. Mm. Like an English name as the legal name? The first yeah, name? English name would be the legal name, and mm. then like maybe the Chinese name as a real name. Mm. Mm. How about you, Lena? Would you give them a Viet name? Or? I would, but I don't know how to go about it. Like, oh, I don't know how to name it. You gotta ask the grandparents. Yeah, or I, was, like, I would ask my mom or my dad, like, like, what would you name my kid? Because yeah. I wouldn't know. Wait, it was. Is Truck Lin like little bamboo or something? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's what it means. Little bamboo. What does your Chinese name mean? Um. Wait. Oh. Like. Well, Huang is yellow, and then <laughs> Jiaxi, I think it's something about like happiness. Oh. Uh, mm. Yeah. What is your name? Mine. So. Um. The second letter is supposed to be like bright and happy, and then the third letter is the ying from like a firefly. Oh. So she, my parents named us, named me to be like as bright as a firefly. Oh, and then my brother cute. is as happy as Disneyland. Mm. Disneyland. Mm. Cause the tick for him, like the second letter is tick. Mm. It's um the tick from like Disneyland if you say it in Canto. Oh wow. And oh, then the cute. third one is like like forever happiness kind of thing. Mm. So like you know how Disneyland is like their forever mm. happiness. Oh. Wait, does your like are your names similar? Your you and your brother? Or Canto? Yeah. Mm mm. No, oh it's not. Oh that's interesting. Because my sister and I have the same except for the last character. Oh, a lot of people do that. Because yeah. my dad and his, like, siblings are all, like, similar. Mm-hmm. And my mom and her siblings. Or, like, her my mom and her sisters. But, no, mm-hmm. me and my brother are, like, nothing of like. Mm-hmm. So, like, my Kanto name in Kanto is Chut Ying. And then my brother is, is Big Han. Oh. So, yeah, mm-hmm. nothing. Would you name, would you have a Chinese name? Mm. Yeah, I think I definitely want one. Probably need help from my parents. Because <laughs> I, I don't know how they come up with these yeah, like exactly. names. Like, how did you bring up the the bright and the firefly together? Like, yeah, really, like, how did they think about it? Yeah. yeah. There's got to be like some kind of... Like, I can't be basic and be like... Because a lot of Viet people or like my, like my generation, I guess. Vien. Vien. It's always like my... Oh. Yeah. That's like a common, like, Vietnamese, my, mm-hmm. or something like that, or, yeah. I don't even know how they, my parents got, like, Juplin. No, because my sister is Tuilin. Mm-hmm. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what did you say? The Juplin? Jup means small, and then I'm assuming Lin means bamboo, so I don't know what Tui bamboo means. Like mm-hmm. Big bamboo. Know. For the older know. sister. <laughs> Because the way baby. they name my sister, it's usually, like, Tui, which is, like, a accent that goes upwards. Um. But she has, like, 
a different one where it's like a dot in the bottom of the U. Mm. So it's like a hard U, so it's like toy. Oh. oh. Wait, so T-H-U-Y? T-H-U-I, yeah. U-Y? U-Y, yeah. U- oh. Y or I? Y. Y, okay. Mm. Wait, how do you say twee? Twee. Twee. Twee is like the accent that goes up, you know? Uh-huh. And then, but that's like the typical way people twee. say twee. But my parents named her name with a, a different accent mm. with the dot at the bottom of you. So it's like a, a hard you almost, like a, a throat or you. So it's like twee. Twee. Twee is like a sharper kind of tone. So I don't know if it has like a different meaning to it. Mm. Mm. Do you know That's the artist? Interesting. Twee. Twee. Yeah. <laughs> I've been trying to figure out how to say your name, but now I know. Twee. 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 Yeah. Twee. Yeah. Twee. The accents are hard. Yeah. It's like eight to nine. At least yours show, like, how to say that, uh, that there are accents. Oh, that's like, true. Yeah. Cancel is just, like, there's no way. It's true. like, just look at it and know how you to just say don't it. just know. Yeah. For V, I I guess it's, like, easier because, like, the symbols or, like, the accents, you kind of just go about on, like, how it flows. Mm. Yeah. If it's, like, the squeaky line, you, 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 mm. you the accent is, like, squeaky. I know. <laughs> you just oh. follow the motions. I guess mm. it's, like, pinging. Yeah. For Chinese, but then also like there's just not a lot to go off on. Mm-hmm. How do we get to languages? I don't know. That's a good question. We went to languages to from names and names what from the, what did name from the last names. Oh, where did the last? How about the very the last, last names? names we We're talking from... about soon. Before last things we were talking about. We're talking about the kids? <laughs> like homeschooling? But how did we get from homeschooling to last things? Surnames. Why are we talking about surnames? <laughs> we're really going backwards. <laughs> <laughs> We just gotta re- this podcast is just gonna be going it. up and then going back down. <laughs> so many different topics. <laughs> oh, Brie, would you have your kid's like official name as Kanto name? Mm, that would depend on where I am at. Mm. Mm-hmm. If I am still in America by then, then I would probably do English. Mm. Um, just because I grew up having to, like, every time I grew up with the struggle with, in class of them, like, always butchering my name. Oh my god, yeah. And then I'll be Same. like, oh, here it comes. I just know when they're, like, at the S. Yeah. And then I'm like, okay, Same. they're gonna, and they go, Chuck Ying. And I'm like, mm, you can call me Brianna. Yeah, mm. I just remember, like, the struggle every single school year, like, mm-hmm. beginning. It's like, oh, Chuck Linvo. Uh, you could just call me Lena. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like and then every I, year. In high school, I think I went with the name Brianna for everything. Mm-hmm. And then, so when it was like time to graduate and transcripts and stuff, it became confusing because I had to change my name back to my legal name for it to count. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. I feel like that should be a thing now where they ask before the first day, like, you input, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, love I think that's it. more of a thing now, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love filling up, out like applications where they have like your legal first name and then they also do like a preferred For first name. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I feel like that's very helpful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it really helps. <laughs> We're all getting comfy, <laughs> but yeah, I was like a year have to say you can come lead there's like some people that like had the same class as me for like mm. the like every period or kind of like all every school year mm. and so they're like you can just call her lena <laughs> 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 like they'd say it before i do oh yeah, yeah. it's like uh, they know right? yeah they're, like calling attendance i'm like i like groan a little bit like and mutter 
<laughs> and then my friends are like, they're gonna, are they gonna say your like legal name? I'm like, mm-hmm. <laughs> but the thing is, like, isn't yours like Brianna's not even in your legal mm-hmm. name kind of thing? Yeah, mm-hmm. so mine is an AKA. Brianna is an AKA. Mm-hmm. I had mine that was a little easier because my middle name is Brianna. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. So, so it's, it's like on the can, roster. Yeah, so they can mm-hmm. see it sometimes. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, they have to spell it. And then for me, they will be like, is it is it B-R-I? And they go, is it two N's? <laughs> <laughs> well, also, some, some of my teachers call me Lynn. Lynn? Oh. Yeah, because like Chuck Lynn was like my first group, like legal first name mm. and then I'd tell them to call me Lena but then you sh- they just forget and just call me Lena. Mm. <laughs> That's funny what you're telling us why your name is Lena. Yeah you just switch the letters. <laughs> no biggie. <laughs> Like your siblings, <laughs> I was they are. friends. <laughs> you just yeah. stop on them. <laughs> Middle child. <laughs> How many kids would you guys want? Oh, we're talking about the future now. <laughs> I want a big family. <laughs> you want a big family? Yeah. Like, how many are we saying? You want a big family all three, from you? Three kids. Yeah. No. I mean... But then your family is already going to be very big because you have two siblings. She wants a big family. I like the big family. So. Even bigger. Two kids? Three. Three? Yeah. And not so that I don't get any car. Make sure the middle child isn't just... Mm-hmm. The name is just switch the letters. Oh, you never know. I'm even petty when you do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I feel you. I don't really like to you. <laughs> You're my favorite child. <laughs> you give the middle child all the love this time. Yeah. Give them the attention. Yeah. How many kids would you want, Emily? I guess two. I think two is a good number for my sister and I. Mm. And everyone in my family has two kids. Mm. Oh, actually, not on my dad's side, but on my mom's side. Oh, wow. yeah. I didn't think about it. Like, I feel like my family has three kids or more. Oh. My dad's side, everyone has two kids, and then my mom's side is mostly just one kid. Mm. Oh, wow. Well, I think in both sides of my family, there's they have a lot of kids. Yeah. Mm. Like, I think my mom's side, it's Wait, definitely yeah. more. It's always three or more. Mm. Oh, no, yeah, my mom's side is all of them are just one kid. Actually, Oh, would y'all want to marry someone who's the same ethnicity as you? Or does that matter? Like, would I want it? Asian? Asian? No, or like, like more specific. Like, 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 like nationality? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Hmm. So. I started thinking about it, because, like, with naming, right? Like, what if you marry someone who's, like... Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Mm, I would still give them a Chinese name. Or, like, i say, like, I marry something, someone, like, Japanese or something. Then they would have, like, English name, Chinese name, Japanese name. Mm. I mean, I guess it's also, like, if I had kids, would they take my husband's last name? Because if they do take my husband's last name, then I get the chance to name middle name like, would you take your husband's last name no. when you I'd keep my last name mm-hmm. I'd keep my last name too my mom kept her last name yeah my mm-hmm. mom also kept her last name my mom added a last name mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. she added so the that. dash the dash oh. Wong yeah a lot of people do that actually yeah. so is she like her last name dash Wong or Wong dash her last name her last name dash Wong ah yeah I asked my mom before, because then, like, whenever my mom, uh, like, whenever my friends come over, they always go, hello, Mr. Soon, Mrs. Soon, and stuff, and then mm-hmm. I'd be like, oh, my mom's last name is it Soon, mm-hmm. and then so I asked her, I was like, how come you never changed your last name when you married my dad, and she was like, what do I have to? 
And I was like, oh. Oh, period. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Why does she have to? <laughs> yeah. I feel like that would happen a lot. Like, kids automatically would say, like, the last name that you have. Yeah. 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 Because it's just so traditional. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's so comfy. That looks so comfy. Yeah, I got tired, I think. Huh? <laughs> I got really tired. Uh, I'm back. Oh, welcome back. Welcome okay. back to the podcast. We were just asking about, like, well, Emily asked, uh, would you date someone or, like, marry someone with the same ethnicity? With the same ethnicity? Or, like, does it matter for you? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Like, do you have to marry someone with the same ethnicity or can it be someone else? I think as long as you don't have a problem communicating mm-hmm. and we're accepting of Accepting and willing to try, like, stuff from each other's culture, mm-hmm. I think it's okay. Because then we also got into the, like, the question of, like, say, like, a Chinese last name, would you, a Chinese name, would you have a Chinese name for your kid? Yes. So you marry a Korean guy. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm, like, I guess that kid will have a Korean name and a Chinese name. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a, yeah. But so their last name would be the Korean last name. Oh, uh, because it follows like their father. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But also, like you were gonna. Mm. Well, I mean, I mean, <laughs> you can do whatever, but it's like. Would you? No, it's kind of hard to tell. Well, but then let's say for Korean. Their Korean name can translate into Chinese. Mm, that's what I was thinking too. Like and Japanese so would, too. Yeah, Japanese yeah. too. What if it's like Mexican, Hispanic, mm. Italian? Some of them can. Because you know how some English names can translate to Chinese too? Oh, because it just sounds like it, right? Yeah, like Donald Trump. How <laughs> <laughs> do you Sorry, translate yeah. that? <laughs> Wait, you know what's almost Donald Trump's cancel name? No, what is it? No. That long pole. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> There's a lot of English names that like translate into Kanto. Oh, interesting. Um, <laughs> but it's like for Chinese names, it's that meaning. Yeah, mm. it's not. Yeah, just, when like, you translate it, so yeah. like, like that long poem. That is hard. Wait, there is one for John too. John. I know, like David is. Yeah, in or something like that in Chinese. Uh, that sounds like it. <laughs> oh yeah, John in Kanto is Yehon. <laughs> <What? laughs> sounds like John. <laughs> another one. Oh, Matthew, I think. Sorry, these are all just Bible names now. <laughs> yeah, I was just insane. Matthew in Chinese is Maso. Oh. What's Emily? Emily? May, 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 I. Oh. oh. Wait, you know, That's before I'm, I'm my, I, I, I my, I, my, like yeah oh oh, wait wait wait, yeah my friend told me before that he had a friend named emily and then they like he called her like i may ling or something Mm. Mm. that's actually so pretty it's like it's like love beautiful or something like that oh that's so pretty (laughs) (laughs) oh my y'all y'all can call me that now (laughs) (laughs) what's yours wait let me see christine hey stop (laughs) my name is so hard christine's is Hot lacy thing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it sounds like a dish. Can you say that again? Hot lacy thing. For Christine. Hot lacy <laughs> thing. Sounds like hey lazy thing. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. You know what? Mine, mine for Brianna, it has the word, the letter, the character for lazy in it. Oh no. <sighs> what is it? Bolayan. Bo- 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 oh. <laughs> 
Oh, no, Bolayan. Bolayan. Mm. It sounds like Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me see what's Brian. Lion. <laughs> That's Ryan. Oh, wait, no, it's the same. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, wait. Well. Oh, no, his is Bo Lion, and mine is Bo, Li- Bo Lion. So is the, the tone that's different? Yeah, yeah because it's sure? two different characters. Mm. Is that but you got the lazy one. one? <laughs> yeah. I think when it comes to, like, ethnicity, like, dating is not... Like, you wouldn't really think about that. Mm-hmm. Unless you're, like, dating to marry. Then maybe you would think about it. I feel like mm-hmm. maybe if you're on love, love is blind. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're dating to marry, then, like, are you, are you saying ethnicity is, like, a deal breaker almost? Or, like, um, oh. I wouldn't I say it's a deal breaker. It's a deal breaker. <laughs> Are your parents okay with y'all dating somebody like that's a racist race? Sorry. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, my parents are okay with it. Mm. As long as like, like again, like the culture accepting thing, and like both mm. families are okay with it. Mm. But I don't know what my parents are okay with, cause I feel like they're just not okay with anything. Oh. <laughs> yeah, my parents. Are- Maybe white people they'll be okay with it. What? Oh, oh, really? oh, the white savior oh. thing. Yeah, the white savior complex. Oh. No, they said, they said don't don't take um Koreans or Japanese. Oh, why not? Oh. Because they said that they're very um they have very like. What is it like male male centered? I guess. Uh, like when it comes to family. Yeah. But they're like, they're not going to let you do anything. They're just going to make you stay at oh. home. Oh my god, wait, that's what my parents said when I was younger too. Yeah, About I thought they were gonna say, <laughs> "Remember what they did to like, like in yeah. Chinese history." Oh, yeah, or something. Yeah. Remember what Jap- like Japan, like Japan did. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, my mom was like, "If you marry a Korean, you're gonna have to wash so many dishes because of the banchan." Oh yeah. Like for dinner, and I was like, "Oh shit, no! I don't want to wash dishes." <laughs> you're gonna be a like, kimchi, kimchi ajuma. Yeah, but I mean, like, I love banchan. <laughs> <laughs> you have to make them dude either way with home cafe and everything I already used so many dishes oh. <laughs> yeah my parents are pretty strict they said you can only date Vietnamese your sister dates a white guy no? Mm-hmm. Yeah. but I feel bad for her oh. yeah my dad's not very accepting mm. Mm. So it's, it was very it was very hard when my dad found out mm. that my sister was dating a white man. Mm. Yeah. 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 I think it's just my dad though. My dad's more on the conservative side. Mm. Yeah. And then my mom. My mom's pretty open about it. She, like she doesn't care as much. Or like it doesn't matter as long as like you like that person kind of thing. My mm. dad, I think he's just more on the conservative side because he's like more scared of what, because mm. he doesn't, it's not familiar to him. Mm-hmm. Like Viet people are definitely some uh, people that you're familiar with because then you can kind of get who they are. Mm. Um, like judge their character better. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. I remember when I went to Korea, my mom was like, you better not be going dating a Korean guy there. Oh. And she was like, don't date an Opa. <laughs> like, mom, I'm not there to date. <laughs> so funny. Yeah. Was it nervous for you guys when you guys first, like, brought your boyfriends to meet your parents? Mm. I think my ex, yeah. Mm. Yeah, because I brought him to a family barbecue. <gasps> oh. Where there are family and family friends. 
Oh, shit. Oh, that's you said the introduction oh, to God. everyone, <laughs> not just close family. Yeah. Oh, my God. How, how early was that? Or when was that in your relationship? I gave it away two months ago. Oh, my God. Was oh. Were well, you, yeah, like, more aware when you brought them to the family function? It's, like, less touchy. Yeah. And you're yeah. like, I was this so is just nervous. friend. Actually, no, I think at that time, like, at that time, I don't even know if my parents knew we were together. Oh, but, like, so obviously they, they knew because, like, I never bring like, a guy that. friend. Mm-hmm. Um, like, I never bring friends over. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Well, that was a big step then, huh? Yeah, mm-hmm. that was huge. But they, they really liked us. Mm-hmm. That's good. What made you, like, decide to bring him? Like, were you scared of your, like, your parents, like? I think it was very spontaneous. Because mm. that day we came back from a trip with our other friends, mm. like from a, like an Airbnb thing, mm-hmm. and he was gonna like drop me back home. So I was like, oh yeah, we're having a barbecue. Like, do you want to join? Mm. Mm. So it just happened on the whim. Yeah. Mm. How about you? Mm. I. I mean, my mom knew the first day we started dating, Mm -hmm. because, like, uh, I don't know, Um, but basically, like, a lot of people knew I liked him, Mm -hmm. like, freshman year, and then I was just like, oh, yeah, like, he doesn't like me, (laughs) but then, like, that day, it was the day after Christmas, and we went to Christmas in the park in San Jose, and then we also went to Berkeley. So I got home pretty late, and then, like, by that time, my mom and sister already knew, like, something was going on, so they are like, what happened? And I was like, oh, well, we're dating now. Mm. But, like, I, I don't know, they never really officially met him until, like, this the past year, past few months. We went for dinner and Thanksgiving break. Oh. And it was, like, this fancy Korean barbecue place. Mm. So that was, like, the first time my mom, like, really talked to him or, like, mm-hmm. sat down with him. But otherwise, she had met him, like, if he came to pick me up, she'd be like, oh, hi. Mm-hmm. And then I brought him to see my sister in L.A. during the pandemic because I wanted to visit her. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, that was chill. I don't think he was that nervous about it because she's, like, around our age mm-hmm. and, like, she's a cool person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it took a while to introduce officially there was one time where i was visiting my cousin with my mom sister and like aunt and uncle because we he's he's going to berkeley starting this year so he wanted to visit berkeley oh and then i was like oh like my friend wants to give you a tour because darren offered and then they're like oh okay and then it was like I introduced him as my friend, right? Oh. <laughs> but then later, Darren was like, "Oh yeah, like Emily and I are gonna take a walk." So like we went on like a ten minute walk because we had to meet them back at the parking lot. So mm-hmm. I was like, "It's not really a point to this." But then we came back to the parking lot and we were holding hands, and I was like, "Oh, well, well like now they on there." Was Darren okay with you introducing him as his friend? Yeah, mm-hmm. he was okay with it because like that was his first time meeting them too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think, like, for my family, you're considered a friend until you're, like, married or engaged. That's oh. just what they call it. Like, mm. my, yeah. Yeah. They're just like, oh, how's your friend doing? Oh, my God, wait. I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, I know, know what you mean. Because yeah. when my brother was dating his, his, like, had a girlfriend, every time my mom referred to her, my mom would just be like, yeah, your brother is going, is, like, probably out with his, with that friend again, out, and just, Uh-oh. like, with that friend. <laughs> okay, it's like, it's like they, re- they refuse to admit. Yeah. 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 Like, really? yeah. It's like, unless marriage is in, like, strong consideration, yeah. like, they will just, it's just a yeah. friend. Yeah. yeah, I don't know why. Interesting. <laughs> I guess they just don't want to, like, I don't know, I don't know if it's, like, their way of not wanting to intrude into, um, like, um, our lives, but just, like, referring us to, like, oh, your friend and stuff, like, just in case. Like, they don't want to help you set an official title, I guess. Mm, yeah. My family's hella noisy. 
And you'd be like, oh, how is your shish's boyfriend doing? <laughs> <laughs> what did they do? What did they have to? <laughs> so gossipy. <laughs> I want to go see your family function someday. Yeah, I know, it sounds so always tea drama <laughs> It's kind of annoying. But also, it's interesting. <laughs> I want to know more of your love story. Um, As a special guest. Yeah. Oh, how's it, how'd, you, um, yeah. how'd you meet him? How'd you, how'd you come to develop... A liking for him. Oh my and gosh, long story. Long story. Long story. Long story. Uh, <laughs> we're all comfy, stumbled uh, up, ready. Okay, so freshman year, I was in my dorm, and you know my roommates are Taiwanese, so they were like, "Let's check out Tasa." So mm-hmm. we went to the Tasa booth. I met a really nice girl. Her name was Sandy, and <laughs> she ended up being my big, and um, my. My roommate, Chloe, ended up getting into the Taza fan that's, like, our cousins. So one of my Taza cousins was a guy named Derek. Mm-hmm. And he's also here in SB right now. He and came, now, he now came now down from Berkeley. Now the names continue. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so, no, this is where they start. Oh, my God. You have to keep track of all these names. Yeah. It's so kind of hard. There's so Derek uh-huh. and the Taza fan, and he has roommates, and they're all from the same high school. So there's a Derek, there's a Darren, and there's Dylan. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> so. Wait, you realize? Even yeah. though, even though I just Wait, they all live together? Yeah, they all live together. Derek, triple D. <laughs> That's literally what I called it. I was like, this triple is a triple D room. <laughs> but, um. How do you wait? I'm sorry. How do you be friends with someone that's just the same letter? Like, I don't have a friend that's. I don't have like a Britney Bailey. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, like Britney and Bridget. Oh, God. Brianna, Britney, Bridget. <laughs> oh my God. Girl names. <laughs> yeah, actually. Uh, but yeah, yeah. I get confused, but yeah, I remember like oh, introduced them really fast, and I was like, "Wait, are you like Dylan? <laughs> <laughs> like, are you Darren?" Anyway, but I guess um, at the time, he had a girlfriend. <laughs> Darren? Yeah. Really? Oh, okay. Really? So really? she went to Cal Poly yeah. slow. It's so like three hours ish hours ish away. But then they broke up during winter break because like I don't know, she wasn't a good girlfriend. Um yeah. so then like I started liking him because we were all hanging out more during winter. Mm. Like, I feel like that was the point where he really needed friends, too. So, like, mm-hmm. that's why we all started hanging out more. And then he joined a frat, and I was like, well, I don't know. I, I guess I, yeah, <laughs> I was kind of like, ick. Like, he's, like, doing all these crazy things, and I'm like, I'm not really into that. But, like, mm-hmm. he's still a good friend. Mm-hmm. So there was this one point where we were, like, talking on Snapchat about relationships and stuff. And I was like, well, how do you know, like, if you like someone, when do you give up on them? Like, like how do you know when like they're just like never gonna like you back and like you should move on he was like oh i don't know if there's time for that and i was like like this is so unhelpful right wait, wait that's, that's a good topic well you were should, asking him but was it okay, applying yeah. to him like yeah it was it, you had him. feelings for him yeah and i think like even at that point he already knew i liked him because like he's friends with Derek, right and like oh and they knew yeah Derek <gasps> knew um mm-hmm. And it was, like, so obvious. Like, I would I would write post-it notes and, like, leave it in his room. Oh, or, really? like, or, like, one time I, I like, wrote one, and we were, we were going to go out, me and Chloe, and I knew he was coming back from some kind of frat event, so I just brought it with me, and then we ran him, into him on the way mm. when he was going back, and we were leaving. So I just gave it to him. It's like, here, Uh-oh. just take it. <laughs> Wait, what did you write on these post-it notes? I just wrote about my day or like ask questions. Oh. Yeah. And then like he'd he'd like text me back the answers. And there was like one time where he wrote back and he put it in my laptop and I didn't see it until I got back to the dorm and I was like, Oh god, like oh, well. <laughs> I was like super excited. Um but yeah, so after we were talking on Snapchat I don't know, like I wasn't really satisfied with his answer. I was like pretty depressed i was like i'm just gonna like take a nap right now and then (laughs) 
And then I heard a knock on my door like 10 minutes later. And he's outside and he's like, oh, are you free to like go on a walk? I was like, oh yeah, sure. I was just trying to nap. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like half asleep. And then we walked down to like the area where you can see the surfers. Mm-hmm. And we sat on a bench and then, I don't know, he was just like talking to me about stuff that was going on in his life. Like how he's trying to transfer and stuff. And then he was like yeah i'm like doing this frat and like trying to transfer so i don't think this is a good time for me to be in a relationship and also because you know his past relationship didn't end well when they did long distance so i guess he's like thinking about if we start dating now and then he goes to a different school like it's not something he wants to do again mm-hmm. but like during that whole conversation he didn't really specify like what he meant because like we were sitting next to each other on the bench like kind of far away right like like here i guess and then he like like moved my head to like be on his shoulder and like scoot closer to me i was like what is this you're giving me mixed messages right now i was like okay whatever but his mouth's doing one thing his body's (laughs) doing something else yeah (laughs) Um, and I think for some reason my sister, my sister and my mom were coming up that weekend to visit me. I think because my sister was, like, going back from school. Maybe it was her spring break. So, like, I told them about it, or at least I told my sister. And, yeah, I ended up talking to Derek about it again, too, because I was, like, really confused. And what he told me was like, oh, Darren told me he took care of it. And I was like, huh? what do you mean, like, took care of it? And he was like, yeah, like, he rejected you. I was like, oh, oh. is that what it was? <laughs> like, because I didn't, I was not sure. Like, I was actually pretty happy after that because I was like, oh, like, maybe he, like, maybe he likes me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Emily, like, like, you got that he likes you when he said he can't do long distance. Yeah, but, like, like, he likes you, but he can't do yeah, it Yeah, right yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, uh. So, like, maybe even if he doesn't want you on distance, like, like, maybe I'm still good enough, you know? It's so optimistic. <laughs> yeah, so then after that, I was so depressed. And I was actually really worried, because I was like, oh my gosh, Derek, like, what if he doesn't want to be friends with me anymore? Because this is what would happen, mm-hmm. like, in the past. Like, some guy would be like, yeah, I like you. And I'm like, oh, well, I, like, I like you as a friend. And then they're like, oh, I don't want to talk to you anymore. And it's just like... Oh, like maybe that's gonna happen. Sorry. (laughs) You're next. (laughs) Your story's next. Yeah, so I was like, maybe that's what's gonna happen now. Or like, maybe you want want to hang out with me, and like, like, it's gonna make the group dynamic awkward. But Derek was just like, dude, don't worry about it, because like he's been treating you normally this whole time, even though like he knew you liked him, so it's fine. And I was like, okay, you're right. You're right. And then, and then. So then (laughs) there was a point where I knew Darren had applied to transfer places. So I was like, yeah, how did like your, like did the results come out? Like, how did it go? And he was like, oh, I didn't get into UCLA. So I was like, okay, I guess he's like still going to be at SB. He's not going to transfer. And then we had dinner with like all our friends and whatnot. And then at the end he was like oh yeah i'm gonna pay for this meal because like it's probably gonna be one of our last ones i'm transferring to berkeley <gasps> and like my heart dropped like it literally sank and then afterwards like he ditched us to go to like a frat thing and then his housemates also went somewhere else so it was just chloe and i and like i was like crying and we went to get ice cream Aww. and she was like pretty sad too because it's like oh like it's so unexpected and like the group dynamic is gonna change um yeah, so then during summer, we still kept in touch, but it, like, I don't know, like, I guess we'd text every few days, and then he was still in SB because he had an internship here, and then he was having, like, a going away party, I guess, like, a goodbye Darren, whatever leaving SB and then he invited me to go down and like stay with him and like I, I actually considered it like pretty seriously I was like should I do it like should I just go down 
the party. <laughs> Emily, like, I, was like, Who is she? I was like, but then why is he like inviting me? Like, we're just friends, right? It's like, mm-hmm. I don't think a friend would like go down for that. Mm-hmm. I talked to my sister about it too, and she was like, like, what does that mean? Like, does he like you or something? I was like, I think he like doesn't. <laughs> but later on, he told me like he did. He just like, I don't know. He wanted me to be there, but like we weren't together or anything so like i don't really know why he asked still mm-hmm. it's getting get a little confusing right here so. yeah it gets more confusing <laughs> so, yeah. no. so, then um yeah i visited him once at berkeley and that was like the only time i saw him in a long time but that wasn't important that wasn't important <laughs> so then later during fall quarter of sophomore year I was like oh yeah it's time to get over him (laughs) I was like it's time to go over him so I went on like tinder and stuff or like I just like talked to more people but Mm -hmm. I at one point I was like I was kind of interested in this other guy I was like actually pretty interested and then I, I just wasn't sure because he, like, kind of seems like a fuckboy. So I was like, I don't know if I just like the vibe or, like, I don't know what it is. But, like, I don't think this would be a good idea. Mm-hmm. And then during that time, it was, like, I don't know. Darren got sick. He had he had a collapsed lung. So then he was in the hospital a lot, and he told me about it. Like, oh, yeah, like, this happened to me. And, like, I was pretty worried about him, but then... Like, I don't know, he was supposed to see me with our friends during my birthday, which was during Thanksgiving week. So I was back up in the bay, and he was like, oh yeah, sorry, I can't go, because, like, I'm in the hospital again. And he hadn't told any of our friends about it at that point, but Chloe was staying with me, because she came up for Thanksgiving, and then I was like, oh, well, can we visit you at the hospital? he was like oh yeah like you you can tell chloe about it and then like she's like get up here so then my family was planning on going to sf for lunch with like our the other side of our family and Mm -hmm. then he was in oakland so we drove up to oakland to see him in the hospital for like an hour and then at that point like chloe and i bought him flowers there and then i like I couldn't go into the room at first because, like, I heard his voice and I just felt so bad. Like, I have, like, PTSD about that. But mm. I just felt like, oh, he's, like, not supposed to be here in, like, the hospital. He's supposed to be, like, at school and doing mm. all this fun stuff. Um, but yeah, Chloe was like, no, you still gotta go in. So then I went in and I was, like, crying. And, like, I tripped over my feet when I was giving him the flowers. I was like, mm. wow, I'm so dumb. <laughs> Then he like threw a napkin box at me. I was like, "Wow, thanks, bro." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So then that day, after I got home, I think something like that. Yeah. I think. Wait, that day was actually my birthday. So then, like <gasps> at the end of the day, Chloe and I had like hung out with like our SB friends and then went back home. And then I was texting him about it, and he was like, "Oh yeah, like you know, I never really." We never really talked about what happened at SB. And I was like, what do you mean? And he was like, oh, you know, like, when we had that conversation, we went on the walk, and I was like, oh, yeah, Derek told me you rejected me. Like, there's not really anything to talk about. And he was like, oh, no, but, like, I, th- I think there is something to talk about. I was like, okay, well, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, yeah, like, I liked you at that time, but, like, I didn't want you to alone if I went to Berkeley Mm -hmm. and like I didn't want you to feel like you were a rebound and Mm -hmm. he wasn't open to doing long distance and I was like oh I see (laughs) I was like okay like that's that's good information to know um yeah and I was like but did anything change and as as of right now and he's like no like we can still, like, just be friends as normal. But, like, maybe think about dating in the future. 
because like he still wasn't sure if he wanted to do long distance and i was like yeah that's fine because like i don't know if i would want my first relationship relationship to be long distance either so then at that time chloe was at my house right so then i was telling her about it and she also knew i was i liked this other guy Mm -hmm. and then she was like okay well like if you had to choose one of them like who would you choose and i was like oh darren and I was like, wait, how did I say that so fast? Like, I didn't even really think about it. But, like, I'd still choose him over the other guy. I was like, well, I guess I really like him. And I should just, like, I don't know. What? I was just saying, you know what you want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, I guess, like, I can just focus on that now. Or, like, the possibility of it happening. But then, like, during winter quarter... This was in December... I was just, like, on the fence about it a lot because, like, we started texting more, like, kind of flirting and whatnot. Then I was still, like, I don't know if this seems right to me, like, starting a relationship long distance, even though I knew him as a friend before. We didn't really do anything one-on-one or, like, hang out. And I didn't want to lose our friendship if something bad ended up happening. And at that point, Darren was also telling Derek about it, like, mm. oh, like, when she comes back, I'm gonna, like, ask her out or whatever. Ooh. And then, and then Derek was like, oh, yeah, he's, like, planning on asking you out. I was like, I don't know if he should, like, because I was, like, super nervous about it and, like, still hadn't decided. <clears throat> and then at one point, he was in the hospital again, and we are texting super late. And I was like, okay, I need to sleep now because I have like an 8 a.m. mid or 8 a.m. final. <laughs> and then I saw it in the morning before I took my final. He had texted at like 4 a.m. like I love you and like, sent like a sent like a sticker and I was just like I was thinking about it the entire mid or the t- the entire final time. And I was like, oh, like, like what am I supposed to say to that? Like, is he okay? Like maybe he was on meds. Like wasn't <laughs> straight. <laughs> he loved. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, um, I don't know, it's like, that was, like, kind of scary to me, too, because I'm like, how does he know he bumped me? Like, I didn't know love wasn't, like... When you guys weren't dating yet, right? (laughs) Yeah, I was like, we're not dating. Um, but yeah, we hung out once during winter break, and, like, we went shopping, and he brought me to a rose garden, and I was like, okay, that was cool. Like, it was a nice hangout. And mm-hmm. then I think he asked me over a text, like, oh, yeah, so, like, did you think about, like, doing long distance? Like, would you be down? And I was like, yeah, with you, I would. Because oh, I thought about it as, like, it's not just me kind of, like, it's it's not just me doing it and like risking stuff it's also him mm-hmm. so i was like yeah sure mm-hmm. we should do it plus i had like not liked somebody for that long in a long time no that was a long chase yeah <laughs> so at first i was the one shooting my shot and then he had to shoot a shot mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah you realize what he missed mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Huh? so oh. then so then like the day he asked me out we went to christmas in the park and like he held my hand and i was like it's kind of like does that mean we're dating now like (laughs) 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 like, do people just normally do this i don't know and like everybody just holds hands normally you don't do that i don't know (laughs) yeah yeah (laughs) (laughs) we're getting married tomorrow (laughs) okay i'm down let me get my dress City Hall. <laughs> <laughs> and then at Berkeley, he he had like a balcony kind of in that apartment. Mm-hmm. So then like he's like, oh yeah, you want to see the view? I was like, oh yeah, sure. And then he like asked me out on the balcony. Oh. And then he tried to give us this much too. I know. <laughs> there was so many more. <laughs> <laughs> I learned new yeah. things right now. <laughs> Yeah, he was like, oh yeah, I had a speech prepared and it was longer, but then I got nervous. Aww. And like, he's like kind of hugging me. I could feel his heart was being super fast. I was like, oh, Aww. that's cute. He tried to kiss me. I was like, oh, sorry, I don't know how to kiss people. <laughs> 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 he was like, oh, that's gay. <laughs> he said 
and then, then, then we just hug. Then we just hug. Yeah. I was nervous. I was like, do people kiss on the first date? <laughs> 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 I was like, oh, okay, at least he, like, officially asked me, or else I'd just be confused the rest of the day. Yeah. So, so that's the story, the long story. Thanks wow. for listening. Too short, too short. <laughs> she details. gave every detail, dude. Yeah. It's because you're here, I swear. Yeah, I think it's because Bree's here. Yeah. Oh, she didn't give us this much detail of what she told us. Yeah. It was like half this time. I know. <laughs> yeah, she was the. the she, she went all out. She, she was. She was what? She was bawling her eyes in the hospital. Oh yeah. And then he is... threw over the tissue box and she said, "Thanks, bro." Thanks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like seed in my head. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I can hear the truth. Oh, I can hear the truth. I can see the truth. Yeah, because this is the last time I need to tell it. Cause Bree's here. Mm. What do you mean? You gotta tell it every time we're here. You need to hear it again. <laughs> Time stamp it. Oh. <laughs> How long have we got? Two, two years, two months? Two years? Mm, 20 two years, 28 four months. months. Yeah. 28 months. Oh. Wait, is that Wait, no. two years, six yeah, months? Yeah, two years. Wait, no. It's two four years, months. months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Earlier when she said 20, she, I asked her how long they've been together and she was like 28 months and I did quick math in my head. <laughs> <laughs> quick math. Okay, eight months. Yeah. You, keep, you keep track of months? Yeah. Mm. It's like babies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. My, friend like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> My friend was like, don't you stop counting after a year? I was like, no. Yeah. <laughs> Which one's going? Oh. You're charging your You're charging your I'm sure it did turn you off. I'm getting way too comfy in this. Sleepover vibes. Literally. Christine, how long have you been dating? In general or like Oh in general. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> One year and nine months? Mm. Almost nine months. Pretty short. What do you consider a long-term relationship? Three years plus. Mm. Yeah. Really? I just, I just thought it was like two. Like, I was gonna say two. I was gonna say two or one. I'd say two years too. Oh, two years. But when you think about it in the grand scheme of things, like. If you're gonna like spend forever with that person, two or three years is not long. Yeah, time. that's what that's what I yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So also it's like when people talk about moving in, they move in like three or five, like a lot of years. Bef- yeah. Before. Like they date for a long time before moving in. Mm-hmm. So when I think of like long term relationship, I think of moving in. Mm-hmm. So I think which is why. Like, I want to talk more, but my eyes are closing on me. <laughs> you, did, you did sleep really late last night. Yeah. You did a lot. I'm going to go to bed. Yeah. It's the tip out, too. Yeah. Are you trying? No. Well, really? I want to talk. <laughs> <laughs> but my if you eyes. get over this tired period, let me go fun. brush my teeth and let's see about my week. week. Mm. Actually, wait, but you have work tomorrow. Mm. You? You have work tomorrow morning? No. Um, I mean, I just stay morning. in the house, so honestly, it's fine. That's true. I have work tomorrow, too, but it's fine. I just need to log in. <laughs> I, I love you, that was scared of Wait, she has class tomorrow. No, I, my class got canceled. Oh, oh my god, nice! So, wait. <laughs> nice. so, I'm not... I'm free until 10. What? What? Free until 10. 10 a.m.? Bro. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? What does that have to do with me? You're also free until 10. Yeah. 
Mm. Oh my god, she's saying the workout. Is she saying the workout? <laughs> oh, oh, I thought that she was implying. Oh, wait, that's not what I. That's the bro. I'm doing. Oh, we'll work out. Huh? Work well, out. We were talking about working out oh, tomorrow. Yeah. But I, I'm not going to wake up at 7. <laughs> 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 no, thank you. May the fourth, fourth be with you. May the fourth be with you. <laughs> How did you introduce Austin to your parents? Mm. I kind of wish he was here to answer these questions because I have really bad memory. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, um, him, my sister, my mom, and and me, I, and I went to KBBQ. Oh, we also went yeah, to. Yeah. <laughs> but like at that time we were still friends. Uh, but I uh, I had romantic interest in him. Uh, mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. Mm. And I think he met my dad when uh, it was just like in passing, like mm. when I got like picked up or like dropped off stuff like that. Mm. Um. I don't know if they really talked. I don't think they talked. Yeah. And then. But I'm really close with my cousins and Bella mm. and Bella's family. Um, and then so like one time, uh, I think it was one time Austin came over to my place mm. and then <coughs> my cousin showed up because like on the weekend, sometimes they come over, oh. but they don't really say, they don't really announce it. They uh. just like come because they yeah. have the garage oh, yeah. key or whatever. And then I was like, oh shoot, like my boyfriend's here. Like, uh-huh. like, can you like, let's, let's go meet them. Because uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, she's like a second mom to me. Yeah. So it was like pretty important for them to meet. Mm. And then they like talked a little bit in the living room. And then my cousin has a, like a 60 year old. Mm-hmm. So then like, um, Austin got along with him really well, Aww. and like the kid liked him, mm-hmm. so I guess the parents also kind of had to like him too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah, mm-hmm. it was really cute because then, um, my cousin's kid would be like, oh, or my cousins would be like, oh, you do you want to go play with Austin? Go go. Would you like Aww, yeah. brother Austin in Aww. Cantonese? Yeah, they like, both just said it. And then when they went home, like, the kid would ask for Austin. Oh, when am I going to see Austin again? Oh. I'm back for a few more minutes. <laughs> Just telling them about how Austin met my cousins. Like, met Bella. Oh. <clears throat> when? Uh, one time, Bella just showed up <laughs> to, our, to our place and Austin was over. Oh. And they met. I don't know. Oh, what played, a... they, My cousin's child, kid, played with Austin. Mm-hmm. Oh, what did Bella think of him? Yeah, I'm good. Mm-hmm. That's cute. So how are you, Christine? I'm good. It's, it's, it's good now. I feel like weight has been lifted off my shoulders. The 35 squat rack, the 105 squat oh rack has been lifted. <laughs> you guys popped it out? Yeah. Like, like they were calling yesterday. Him and her. Mm-hmm. They called. Like Zoom call. Wait, the girl that mm-hmm. confessed. Mm-hmm. Oh. They Zoom called for what? Um, they were talking about like their fill paper. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then, uh, and then today he was like. Oh yeah, can I call her to talk about a movie? I was like, the fuck, a movie? And yeah. I was like, oh, is it like the everything, what's that, everything, anything, anything all at once? Yeah. Something like that. You know that movie you want to watch? That. I want to watch that. Watch it. Yeah, I want to watch it. Watch we should watch it this week. We should watch it this week. We all want to watch it. We should watch it together. Guys. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to watch it so bad. Yeah. But yeah, keep going. Oh yeah, yeah. And I was like, why, why, what? Like, this is not... This is not what you told me you were going to talk about. 
Like you said you were gonna talk about like Phil and like class stuff. Or I thought he said, Oh, I'm gonna talk about class stuff. So I thought like, oh, this is like class logistics, you know, like when is this due? Or like, mm-hmm. you know, very surface level stuff like that. So I was mm-hmm. like, uh I'm not really comfortable with that. So then that's why I was like inside calling mm-hmm. and then like I vented everything I wanted to, which was really good and he listened. Mm-hmm. And I was just saying how, like, oh, you're being really selfish. And he was like, yeah, I know. And I asked him, like, oh, what, like, what makes the conversation so engaging? And, like, why do you want to keep talking to her? It just feels like you're trying to lead her on. Like, why are you doing that? He's like, and I guess he thought about it and, like, his head cleared up. So then Mm -hmm. um, I did let him talk to her about the movie because I was like, but I was like, oh, as long as it's under an hour, I'm okay with it. And he did keep his promise of keeping it under an hour. And then afterwards, he sent her a text like, oh, um, I think it's better for the time being for us to not communicate. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. But yeah. And then, um, and then uh, she was very like accepting of it. She was like, oh, okay, I'm okay with whatever you and your girlfriend are comfortable with. Mm-hmm. And so... Yeah, I told him only class logistics and, if needed, class concepts, but text only, no call. Mm. And I, honestly, like, while I was telling him that, I felt kind of bad because it felt like I was controlling somebody else's life mm. when I don't think I have the right to. But in the grand scheme of things, I think I do have the right to because it affects me too. Mm. Mm. And, like, I was thinking about, oh, I'm I'm teaching him how to set boundaries, so for his future girlfriend, mm. it'll be better. Like, for his future relationships, it'll be better. Mm. And this is also something he needs to, you know, learn. Yeah. yeah. Why do you say for your future, for his future relationships, it'll be better? Like, so, so his future girlfriend doesn't really have to deal with this. Like, doesn't have to go through what I have to go through. Do you not see you and him for no. a long time? No. Is that a reason why you guys haven't, like, said I love you to each other? Yeah. Also because we don't know what love is. I also think he puts a little too much meaning into it, but... You know, if he's not going to say it, I'm not going to say it. Mm. <laughs> it's going to make things awkward. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm a simp, but, like, I'm not that much of a simp. Mm. If he knew... If he had to ask you if it was okay for him to discuss a movie with her even something so tr- so trivial like that doesn't that just mean that he knows that it's wrong yeah he does know it's wrong but that's where he can learn to set boundaries though. like he could could have just not yeah, yeah. Like, done that know, at all not to be to like dumb it down like think twice before because if you it's mm-hmm. like you think uh, Oh, let me ask my girlfriend first. It's like, then doesn't that just mean that you're you getting that? Yeah, it's like something mm-hmm. you shouldn't be doing. Like, he could have learned from that and be like, I need to set that boundary. Like, mm-hmm. I shouldn't have to even yeah, you ask. Shouldn't have to ask. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, yeah, have, that is it shouldn't have to be where you had to tell him that, like, it has right. to be under an hour. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I think that's also, like, it ties into why Christine said he's being selfish. Mm-hmm. Because, like, him asking that is putting her in a difficult position mm-hmm. where, like, him being able to talk to her about this movie is benefiting only him. And mm-hmm. he knows yeah. that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, he should have definitely been able to make that decision. Like, know how to make that decision himself instead of having to ask you for it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I literally texted him, I'm speechless. <laughs> <laughs> The audacity. Does she still get on your nerves? I think now it's better because 
now it seems like she she understands. I'm like, you understand? Um, but I did. Does she not understand? Does she not understand from the beginning when she first met him? Dude. That's why I want to talk to her. Like, I want to talk to her. Like, she... Like, I want to get to know your brain. Like, I'm going to pick your brain. I don't know. She's just going to end up... I feel like it's like if you talk to her, she's going to end up stealing some of the stuff. Yeah. And I'm just like the best. Envy. I don't know. Whatever, if he ever uses like philosophical things and like explain his his side of things to you, that you know it's just BS. He's just being selfish. Mm. Yeah, I told myself I'll never get a film major at all. This was our first time. Like the mm-hmm. first like confrontation. I think usually confrontations are like not as extreme. Were you guys fighting? I see that's the thing, like how do you define like every p- couple fights a different way? Mm. Mm-hmm. I think for me this this was a fight. Mm-hmm. Because Cause you grow like not happy. I like I like smaller things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I think this was, I would say that I would count this, I count this as like a fight slash argument because it negatively impact the relationship mm-hmm. like a lot. Mm-hmm. 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 And you guys were like talking it out mm-hmm. and trying to like grow from mm-hmm. it. Like usually if we have like, like, like small bickerings wouldn't be arguments. Mm-hmm. You know? mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 So. yeah. That's how you know somebody's true side. Mm-hmm. did you hear impression of his true side change or something to what selfish bitch only child vibes (laughs) yeah Yeah, he has to get what he wants Mm -hmm. no that's not how the world works you sound like an older sister (laughs) now She's scolding him. <laughs> yeah. Do you and Darren fight? Mm. Or like botly before, definitely, right? I would say yes. Yeah. There was one time this like really big fight mm-hmm. where I was like maybe I should just break up with him now. <gasps> yeah. Mm-hmm. So what happened was he was in Berkeley, right? Mm-hmm. And then apparently he oh, it's kind of confusing. But like one day there was this girl who like lives in the same complex as them mm. and she's drunk so she like knocked on the door or whatever and then he and his housemate were there and Did I don't know, know each other? no oh. and she was like pining over the CS major and then she was just like I don't know asking them questions about like guys and like she found out they're CS majors so she like wanted to talk to them about it and like I guess they stood there for a while like just talking to her and then the next week she was like oh like do you guys want to come over and, like, hang with my house? Mm-hmm. And I guess he knew, like, like I might not be comfortable with it. Mm-hmm. But he went. And I remember that night, like, I messaged him about something. And, like, he just gave, like, a really short response or, like, wasn't replying that fast. And I was just like, oh, he's probably, like, working or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but then... Later on, when we called, he was like, oh, yeah, like, my housemate and I went to that girl's house, and, like, actually, I don't even know if he told me, but, like, he was sharing his screen for some reason, and then that girl messaged him. She was like, oh, thanks for coming over, smiley face, and, like, here are the pictures we took from that night, and, like, 
like I was trying to focus on the conversation or whatever you're talking about and I was like Sarah I can't focus right now but like like what what did you like what was that <laughs> like what was that message and he's like oh yeah so like we went over to their house and like games or something okay wait now i remember because <laughs> that night he asked me before i saw this he's like oh would you be okay with like me going to that girl's house and like playing games as if he hadn't already oh so he oh, asked you so after yeah he asked me after like oh like it's in like like maybe they'll do that oh. and i was kind of like oh like how do you know this person right and like yeah. why do you want to do it I guess or like it just seems really random like I've never really heard about them except for like that time she's drunk and then so I guess like since he saw that I was uncomfortable with it he didn't want me to know that he went so he's like oh what she doesn't know won't hurt oh, but then yeah, I was I like do. yeah and then I was like wait did you like already go there like why did you tell me after the fact mm -hmm. like that was the problem you had with your ex right so, like why are you doing that to me oh <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> baggage. <laughs> baggage claim. <laughs> <laughs> Here's <a> ticket. <laughs> yeah, so then I was pretty upset about it, and then I know he was just like, oh, "Yeah, like I'm sorry, like I should have told you," and I was just like, "Like why? Like why did you lie to me?" And that was like the worst way to find out too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And like I, like he showed me the messages and like the pictures and whatnot, and I was like. Okay, it's like him and his housemates trying to buy like six girls and like it's just like kind of weird to me mm -mm. no i get that yeah and then yeah like i just couldn't sleep that night and i was like super upset i was like crying with him on the phone mm -hmm. and then the next day i don't know i was like out with my sister and mom like we had to go visit the grandparents and we came back home and then he like showed up with Boba and he was like, oh, yeah, can we talk? And I was like, oh, you came all the way from Berkeley to just, like, talk about this? And he's like, yeah. That's and, like, he, yeah, and, like, he tried to hug me at first, and I was like, like, no thanks. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yes, <I'm> like, <laughs> like, I took the tea inside. I, like, I didn't even, I just <laughs> wanted, Boba. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even want to, because, like, I didn't want my, my mom and sister to, like, know something had happened um, and like him bringing the tea is like a sign like oh he did something wrong he yeah. has to apologize to me right uh, imagine he came with flowers <laughs> oh God, yeah and then um yeah and they were like oh like were you expecting him i was like no <laughs> it's like they knew something with them and then like, we went and talked about it yeah and then i was like okay i guess it's like fine if you won't do it again that was like why I was like, oh, maybe I should just like break up with him now, like, <gasps> save myself the pain. Oh no, <sighs> Emily. Were yeah. you guys like long into your relationship then? Um, yeah, I think. I think it was. Actually, I don't know if it was that long, but it felt like it was a long time. Mm -hmm. So my sister was still there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I don't really know. But if he was at Berkeley, then, like, maybe he was taking classes in person. So we're second year? Maybe second year. Mm. That doesn't really sound right to me, though. We were on that second year spring quarter. That's the second year? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Unless he was there for an extra year for some reason. I don't know. Anyway. Um, but yeah, I guess that was like our biggest argument. Other times it's just like, I guess like back to the long distance thing, it's like mm -hmm. kind of hard. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm like, oh, I'm not getting enough attention. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I see all this like happy couples or I'm like, oh, like this is the time where like after like a long day, then you just want to have dinner together, mm -hmm. like hang out whenever, like we can't do that. Mm -hmm. But then now that you graduated and you're back home, you can visit him more. I can. But then sometimes I feel like I I put in more effort mm. to do that. Like, why do I go to Berkeley all the time? It's because, like, he, he's, like, busy with his other stuff, so he doesn't have time to see me. Mm. Or, like, 
like I put in the effort to go to his graduation on Saturday and then also Tuesday like take time off and then I don't think he's gonna like as of right now he's not gonna go to my graduation because he's flying to Taiwan that day um. yeah which is not really in his control mm-hmm. then I just feel like even like leaving SB during fall like went back early so I could go to his birthday um, yeah. yeah but he didn't come for my birthday because he had stuff to do so it's like like mm. I guess it's the question of like even if he didn't have a bunch of things to do would he put in the effort to come like for me mm. yeah. have you guys talked to him before? yeah but like I guess the consensus is that he's just like he has a lot of things to do yeah It's kind of like if he wanted to, he would. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, but I just think he doesn't have the means to right now. Mm. Would you say you are the clingier one in the relationship, or he is the clingier one? I think I am, except in some situations, I guess. You the clingy one, no tell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? Or? Yeah, you're definitely the clingy one. Yeah. I said for so long, I gotta make the best out of it. Make the most out of it. I'm <laughs> not putting my efforts to waste. <laughs> I work so hard. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I waited so long. Second year? No. Oh. Technically since first year. Oh. I knew you liked it this year. <laughs> I don't know. But I also did But she know. was like, what? No. No. We're just homies, dude. Dude, <laughs> he doesn't even like me. I'm trying to help him get this girl from mm. baseball or whatever. Oh, softball, softball girl. Yeah. Oh my gosh, softball. And I was like, okay. <laughs> but at the time, I was like, I didn't know if it was like something in passing. Mm. You know how like we just have like a two week, like a quarter thing? Mm-hmm. I have a question. Mm. So like, since you liked him for so long, mm-hmm. and like you wanted to be with him, mm-hmm. but then why don't you see a future with him? That's a good question. Um, I think my needs are not all met. Like, he doesn't meet all of my needs mm-hmm. as, like, a lifelong companion. Mm-hmm. But I think as, like, a, oh, you have fun dating type of person, mm-hmm. like, it works. But if it's not meeting your needs and, you know, like you said, you've been dating around and stuff, why are you still with him? Because you guys have been together for like what, one and a half? Yeah. It's like I like him too much to. I like him too much to. Like, I can't dump him because I like him too much. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How do you know that that like isn't gonna grow into something more? I thought about this. Like, recently? Um. I was like, oh, do I really see a future with him? And I was like, maybe I do. Um, but at the same time, I think it's a little too early to tell if I really do. Mm-hmm. Future is in like... Like, like, long, like five years plus. Mm-hmm. Or like marriage. But well, also, it's You like guys have I been in this for like one and a half year and like more before that officially. Like, we were friends before, though. Like, I think dating is different from being friends. But, like, with the one and a half year, like... But also, it's like, if I see a future with him, but he doesn't see a future with me, like... Then... Do you know what his good. views are? He said, for now, no. No what? No future. Mm. Did he say why? No. 
You didn't ask? No. You guys didn't no, know? No, it's very much in there. Mm-hmm. What do you feel like he's lacking? I think he's not fun enough. Oh. Like, free-spirited enough. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, there are a lot of things that I want to try and do. And, like... Yeah. But I don't think he's... Do you think me dating him is holding you back from trying these things then? Yeah, since he's not meeting like, all your needs. Mm. I think no, because I have you guys. Oh my gosh! Like, but we can't satisfy you in every aspect. She jumped there. Like I'll, I'll, mm. like he <laughs> just cares about aspects. <laughs> You guys are like the ones who like push me out of my comfort zone and like do things that that I enjoy and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then it doesn't that mean that everything that you want to do with him and that the, in your you guys' relationship that you guys can't do, you put it on us. I don't think so. Because then you said you wanted you want there is things that like you want to do, but he doesn't. So then you do. Like and also, like, kind of contradicts what you said, like, how you're at the stage of, like, young and free and dating kind of thing. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. it's still different. Like, the fun that you want to have. Like, you have fun with us, but it's yeah. not like you're having fun with a guy you're dating. I mean, mm-hmm. I still have fun with him. Mm-hmm. It's just different. It's a different kind of fun. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What experiences did you do with, like, the flatmates that you don't see him doing with you or like that he wouldn't do with like you. going downtown uh, oh he wouldn't go downtown he doesn't want to go downtown what happened to the bar fights <laughs> <laughs> it's just a bus ride away yeah, yeah. he just stays home i and think the gym. like he would go to a speakeasy but not like a club mm. like he wouldn't go to wildcat or backstage mm. is there like it's not oh a it's just not like his, it's just yeah. like a lot of people yeah. social anxiety mm. Yeah. But also, I feel like a lot of things that I want to do, they're like solo activities. Like, I'd rather do them solo. Oh. Such as? Like the light light board thing, mm-hmm. like the theater thing. Yeah. You can't really do that with somebody else. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Also, it's also, well, this is kind of mean, but like, he's convenient. It's convenient that he's here, and it's convenient for some for like to have somebody by your side that cares for you, Mm. and like you care for them back. Mm. Yeah, I kind of get that. Yeah, I mean like you have to fall in love at the right time, Mm -hmm. or like timing does matter. Mm What made you like him in the first place? Uh, at the very beginning, it was physical attraction. Mm-hmm. I think usually it starts like that. I don't know. Um, he's like, he's very considerate. Well, I guess now it kind of like doesn't really make sense after mm-hmm. what happened. Mm-hmm. But I still, <laughs> <laughs> he is still considerate though. And at the beginning, um, when we were friends, like, it was really nice talking to him about, about, like, stuff that I wasn't too comfortable with talking about, um, like, family and stuff like that, and then I think, like, his deep or, like, philosophical side, like, really made me think about the decisions I made. Mm-hmm. And then, I guess like in middle school and like high school, like I used to have very deep thoughts. <laughs> you still do? <laughs> no, like like deep, like twenty four seven shower thoughts. No, now thoughts are like kind of random. <laughs> like, like why is that air vent shaped like a rectangle or something like that? Like it's dumb thoughts. <laughs> But then, like, back then, I was like, 
back then, you know, like that angsty teenage years, mm. like you would think about like death or like mm. oh, yeah, yeah. But then, um, also when I was applying to college, I was like thinking about stuff a lot. Mm. But then it like hurt too much to think, so I like prevented myself from thinking, <laughs> which is where these shower thoughts started coming <laughs> in. <laughs> Coping mechanism. Uh, yeah, <laughs> literally coping mechanism. But then, like, I think he, like, brought these, like, angsty teenage thoughts out again. <laughs> <laughs> like, kind of interesting. Um, mm. But, yeah, it makes me feel at peace. Mm. Like, comfort? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like someone understands. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I feel about the this shit. We'll see where it goes. Try to not let have those angsty teenage thoughts come back. <laughs> Think about the vent. <laughs> oh yeah. Why are you rectangular? <laughs> Why are they rectangular? Is it like airflow? I was thinking airflow. But if you have a circular, it would just look weird. What? Wait, wouldn't green? airflow be better if it was yeah. like more rounded? Like yeah. Pipe? But just a circular vent. That'd be kind of cute. I mean, it's I just think it's about the aesthetic though. Like, maybe there's something about it's just like, easy to construct it because you think about circular vents, it's like that's round. True. But there are things that are pipes too. Pipes are like circular pipes. Yeah, yeah. that's true. You don't have a right. That is it's also a safe space to squares. No, like a pipe. Come back to like a square. Kind of. Oh, like so it's just like just like no like corners that be, I guess. No. Then you kind of have to like go around. But wouldn't the circle have to be more perfect? Is it is it art bed circular? No, we said that circular. No. Not the circular. I was thinking about like you know when like, oh my god, were you here for like, her condom thing? Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> I want to know. Um, <laughs> that was so funny. She was okay. I think Judy Judy asked if she was on birth control, right? Mm-hmm. And she Wait, her what's this? Oh, before you came back. But, Oh, right before. Oh, no, yeah, we were, we were in the we restroom in the, or something. No, we were in the kitchen. Oh house. yeah, we were in the kitchen. But oh, yeah. I was trying to, I was trying to bake the potatoes. Yeah, Judy mm. was like, "Oh, because are you on birth control?" And she was like, "No, that's why I use condoms." <laughs> or she was like, "No, that's why I have the pretty condoms." <laughs> and we were just like, "You use both?" What? <laughs> and she was like, "Oh." <laughs> <laughs> oh. What do you mean, oh? She didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> she didn't thought know that if people were on birth control, yeah. then they don't use condoms. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. If people are on birth control, they don't use condoms. So she thought. Yeah, oh. technically thinking about it, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't just prevent, <laughs> like, a pregnancy. Like, yeah. Because, like, like, a birth control is on, like, 100%, mm. like, effective. I still want to see them. See what? Pretty pretty. Condoms. Oh, she showed it mm. earlier to them. Yeah, it's pretty nice. It's like holographic. Yeah. Oh. Very fancy. <laughs> Got it out of market. Oh. Got it out of Japanese market. Oh, wow. Is it for women? Or guys? Guys. Oh. oh. Yeah. Mm. They do have female condoms. Mm. Mm. But those are so big. Alright. Oh, I think it's time. I think it is time to call it. Time Wait, to why did Judy ask that? <laughs> oh, she, she oh, cause I was showing a TikTok about. Oh yeah. It was like a dark humor TikTok where it was like about the Roe v. Wade being overturned. Oh. And, she, and the TikTok sound was like, "You better work." Yeah, and <laughs> it, it was like, like the, the and she was holding a, a birth control. control. Thing. Oh. Good talk, good talk. Yeah.
Time to sign off. Bye bye. Bye. Good night. Thanks everyone. for tuning in. <laughs> this podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. Want to break through the ads? Tap now to get what? 40% One month. month. Three, three months. Three months. <laughs> tap now to get your first month free with Spotify Premium. Okay, tap. <laughs>